All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any difficulty from your side. First of all, uh, today, today we are enjoying a good time and the uh, same as yesterday. And actually, this is a this is a this is a Christmas time. Uh, but for us as a Christian, every day is a Christmas. For Christ, He came already, and uh, because of Him, human is going to live for eternity. The birth of Christ is not only his birth, it is our birth. Because of him, man will live forevermore. So we are thankful for him, we are happy because of him, and the only hope we, we have is just because of him. So today we will, uh, we will do the same as yesterday. Yesterday many of you wanted to call me. <clears throat> But they could not. Um, too many callers, too many people tried to call, but they could not reach because simply, um, you know, we have uh, uh, limited time and everybody want to talk. And I'm happy to hear you. Actually, yesterday it was a great day. It was a great uh, time to enjoy with families which I never met people I never saw and yet they they really show too much uh, love and care so uh, we will look soon in Skype and those who like to join us live on air uh, we will be happy to have you and uh, God is good let us see all right Now, you know, uh, if you see the articles written against Christmas, you will see that Christmas, not only Jesus have enemies. I mean, I understand that there is many enemies to Jesus, but look like the enemies extend even for uh, a time of happiness. Like, look like somebody don't want people to be happy. Or maybe it is like a threat to some people to be happy. Uh, atheists don't want Christmas. Liberals don't want Christmas. Muhammadan don't want Christmas. Everybody get offended by Christmas. But the silly and the, the thing we see is different. If you go in the ground, if you go to the uh, shopping malls, you see how busy it is. Uh, forget about the commercial. I'm not, you know, uh, Christmas is not to be supposed to be commercial, but this is telling you. How many people celebrate really Christmas? Because if a Christmas really does not exist, and uh, as they claim that there is a big number of atheists, um, etc., liberals who don't uh, like Christianity, but you will find in a Christmas time, those who call themselves liberals, those who call themselves atheists, is the first one to celebrate a day which don't belong to them anymore. I mean, aren't you the one who throws a post Jesus behind you? <coughs> Correct? They could not deny and they cannot run away from such a beauty. Because of Christ, he bring beauty to your life, to your children, and you cannot escape that. A few days ago, I showed you an article written by a Muhammadan about how much he suffered. I think the article called how to escape the Christmas, you know, uh, how to survive, sorry, how to survive the Christmas. And this Muhammadan was talking about how much he suffer because it's like a, it's like a game. You have to flip the TV station fast as soon as, as you see something about Christmas and TV. So he is really uh, uh, suffering. And you ask yourself, I mean, why this is, uh, why, I mean, what, what, what this phobia is about? It's a phobia, you know? Uh, but the phobia, it's anti, like he is anti himself. He don't like to be, he, he don't like to see that people are happy and he's not. So I don't want to see that. I don't want to be, I, I will be tempted by happiness as we are, uh, if we can say so. Like don't tempt me. Don't tempt, don't. It's a temptation. But this is a good temptation. Because you are not harming anyone. You are not hating anyone. You are loving everybody. So how that can be a bad temptation? Right? 
so Christmas really is something beautiful and we enjoy it and we encourage everybody to be uh, to, to enjoy Christmas uh, thank you for those who they are saying thank you and thank you for those who they are making donation we appreciate you God bless you remember one thing uh, when somebody he and he claimed to be Christian he say Christmas is not from Christianity but this is not really biblical because the Bible says every day you designate to the Lord is a Sabbath which means it's a holiday Sabbath is not many people think that the word Sabbath uh, mean uh, uh, Saturday you know Sabbath is not Saturday necessarily it can be Saturday Sabbath is the day where mentioned in the Bible that God he finished his 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 work and then he ordered us to, to designate a day for him which is for us actually because this is why Jesus he said you know Sabbath was made for the man not the man was made for Sabbath so the Bible says clearly that every day designated to the Lord is a Sabbath. So this is a Sabbath, for this is a day for the Lord. This is not a day for you. However, Jesus, the Messiah, he explained to us that yes, it is for the Lord, but it is for you in the same time. This is why it was made for the man, not the man was made for the Sabbath. So it is a day to remember the Lord, but yet it is us who get the benefit of it so it is beautiful and those who try to resist us they, they have they have issues you know I, I believe they have like a, maybe you have a health issue and the health is in, in your, the way you think maybe you need to change the, the diet you eat because why you are fighting happiness and happiness in the name of Christ this is an innocent happiness there's nothing wrong done with it. There's nothing done in the name of the Lord with it. And if there is somebody doing something wrong in the name of Christmas, this is his this is his this is his doing, you know. Like, you know, Christmas is not to be for parties and drinking and uh, uh, you know, this uh, madness. This is people do. All right, we have somebody is calling, let us see. Hello? Hello. 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 Is this Christian Prince? Yes, my friend. You are live on air. I hear you. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Uh, am I talking to Christian Prince? Yes, it's me, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Hello. Uh, I think it's not working. I don't, he don't hear me. P please check your, uh, your audio before you call. Hello? Hello? Yes. Is this CP? This is CP. Hello. Mute you too, please. Oh uh, yeah, I, I just did. All right. Hello? I just did. How are you? Okay, yeah, great to hear you. Thank great you very much. Great to talk to you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I started following you when you were on ABN Sat. Uh huh. Okay. Long time ago, yeah. and then you started this channel, and I came here. I remember the time when we started. It was like less than a hundred people. Then it went up to hundred twenty, and we all got so excited. <laughs> mm. Well, you know, <laughs> always. Actually, you know, for me, I have like uh, I used to do impal talk, and I was a very yeah, uh, popular uh -huh. impal talk. So the uh, uh, yeah. YouTube, uh, it was something new, and it is Muslims who made me come to YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never followed you on impal talk. This yeah. is An Chung. In case you know, the audience doesn't know who who is right. talking, All right. I think everybody who subscribed to my YouTube channel is kind of small, but I work hard on it. Yeah, updating. Sure, sure. Uh, new content three times a week. It's a lot of work. Sure. Just uh, post your name after you finish so people will know that this is your channel. Yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. You're Merry welcome. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah, you know, YouTube, it was something new. For, uh, like, uh, always when you start and nobody nobody know that. Nobody knows even that I am in YouTube. But not only that, uh, there's many people they would love to follow my channel, but uh, they don't know which channel is mine. 
because now if you type Christian Prince in YouTube, you will find endless numbers of Christian Prince. Which one? You know? Uh, and uh, actually, uh, uh, she was uh, speaking about uh, ABN. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure this is when, but I have an uh, older channel than that. It got, it's called Investigate Islam. It was really big. And then they deleted. Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hey, hey Christian Prince. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. My, this is Srihas from Sweden. You're welcome, my friend. What do you like to say to us? Yeah, basically, I'm from India. All right. Yeah. Uh, my wife is studying in, in Sweden here. She's doing a master's. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, I just uh, have some doubts, uh, Christian Prince. You have a doubt about what? Uh, about uh, because uh, there is a problem going on in India. Hmm. Uh, because uh, uh, my uh, neighbors are some some of them are Muslims. Right. They seem to be nice people. Mm -hmm. And when when I know about like all these terrorists and uh, Sharia law and all these things, right. when we talk to them about about it, they like uh, they don't know anything about it actually. Okay. Because uh, they are like, uh, I mean, the Indian Muslims, uh, I'm from south part of India. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, Tamil and uh, Malayalam Muslims, they don't know really about this uh, Arabic thing. Mm -hmm. And then like when we, when we tell them and talk to them, they are like, oh, it, this is not in the Quran. Mm -hmm. And all they are, uh, the leaders of the mosque, they are like, uh, oh, it's not, it's not in the Quran. Yeah. Like I, I, I was like, how to approach them? Like, no, because yeah, I'm not good to me, the Quran, and they don't know. They don't know the Quran. Yeah, I really. understand. You, like, you, whatever you, you tell in the uh, what about the Quran is totally different from what they tell me. Yeah, but you said to me you have a doubt. Doubt about what? I don't understand. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like how to approach them? Oh, okay. Well, I will answer you after you finish. You just say Merry Christmas, and I will answer you after you hang up. Yeah, okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, my friend. Th thank you for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. First of all, you know, for us, we love we love Muslims. It doesn't matter who they are. And uh, Muslims, they are human like us, and they can be great people to to uh, uh, to, 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 to know. Uh, but as you see, we are exposing the cult of Islam. We are not against Muslims. You know, actually, we love the Muslims, and we should care for them. So a Muslim who don't know, uh, that's a wonderful chance for you to show him and to share with him the truth so he will leave Islam. And how to approach them simply, you know, knowledge is the key. Uh, when, when, you, when you speak to somebody about something you do not know, you will speak foolishness. So don't open up your mouth in any topic in the world unless you are sure from what you are talking about. So before you speak about any issue, anything, not necessarily about religion, I mean, don't claim to be a scientist if you are not. You know what I mean? Uh, don't teach people English if you don't speak good English like me. I cannot, I cannot teach you English. So, uh, knowledge is the key, and then knowledge will speak for itself. Let us see, we have a caller here. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, I hear you. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. So, how are you? I'm fine, my friend. You're live on air. Uh, Merry Christmas at first. Merry Christmas to you. I want to tell you that I'm an ex-Muslim right now. That's wonderful. Why I'm you... an ex-Muslim right now. All right. And yeah. What happened? Why you Why you left Islam? Actually, because of you, I will like I'm from from Germany. Okay, so you you were uh, listening oh, to me. I can't hear. Wait. You are from Germany. Okay, so you were. What... Can you repeat that, please? Uh, I, I lost you too. I heard you saying you are from Germany and, and you left Islam because of me. That's what I heard from you. Correct? Hello? Uh, uh, do you, yeah, I think you know Amir, Amir, right? Yeah, Amir, sure. Yeah. I'm from Germany, Amir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I watched a lot of videos from him too, so it, it kind of like the culture and stuff. Hmm. It kind of, I always saw like nothing good in Islam, right? And I grew up with Christians because I live in Germany and all I always saw like the, the culture and 
they were always nice, you know. Yeah. And so that's why. But my family is actually still Muslim, mm -hmm. still Muslim, which I think is very, very. Uh, I think it's not not good. They will court sometime, and they actually they still don't know that I'm Christian right now. So it's like unofficial, you know. Mm. Well, my friend, love your, love your family. Be sure to love your family because it doesn't matter if they are Muslims or Christians. Tell you, you as a Christian now, you have to love them. And maybe the Lord, he will help you to guide them and to bring them to Christ. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm so happy for you, my friend, that you left Islam and you became a Christian. Yeah. And I wish you really a Merry Christmas. And actually, those who became Christians and they are uh, coming from a Muslim background, they, they will have a better Christmas than us because they, they will enjoy it for the first time as part of it, not our, our people who they are uh, outsider, you know what I mean? Good for you, my friend. All right, okay. I, think, I think you have a bad connection. Thank you for calling. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Mute YouTube, sorry, please. Sorry. Mute YouTube, please. Before you call me, mute YouTube. Don't call me, and you are in YouTube. Crystal, please. Oh, sorry, I hang up on him by my mistake. Call me again, please. Um, too many callers, and we are losing the track. Hello? Okay. CP? Yes, my friend, you are with me. CP. I'll make it real quick to the point. I just want to emphasize the full scope of your value. Uh, you are a modern day war, uh, warrior saint. Uh, you are the most prolific freedom fighter for humanity of our time. Uh, some may have courage and some may have knowledge, but no one has the grand combination of both that you have by far. Uh, and no one works as tirelessly as you to the point of self-detriment. Yet you are one of the most humble and uh, modest people I've, I've heard uh, on YouTube. And you have a, a great sense of humor. And uh, your broadcasts and your books should be made uh, required reading for schools and world leaders alike. And I just want to like express total gratitude. And I want to bless you. Uh, you know, God bless you, brother. Um, uh, and uh, this is a Crusader General, and but you are you are the real Crusader General. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much for everything you do. You're just an immense, tremendous, tremendous figure of of, of, of greatness in our misery and all that. Well, in our very dangerous times, like where we actually falling back to the times before you know Ju Ju Judeo Christian values became around. Uh, I lost you, David. It's a flow, so thank you very much. God Th bless you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Bye-bye. Thank you, Crusader. All right, thank you for the kind words. You know, I'm not really expecting from you guys to say uh, things about me. I am nobody. You don't even know how I look like. Uh, and what I do is just a, a, you know, a duty for a Christian to do. I mean, if, this is, if, if we as a Christian, we don't do this, who's going to do it? So I'm not doing really... Uh, uh, something um, this is what we should do all of us you know but thank you for every nice uh, kind words you said um, okay let us here see those who could not reach them we will call them back hello 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 yes my friend go ahead you are live on air Yes, if you just give me a minute. I'll uh, mute YouTube. I mean, I'm hearing two voices right now. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, how are you doing, CP? I mean, uh, first of all, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm from Sri Lanka. I mean, uh, you might have heard of the I mean uh, Easter Sunday attacks, right? I mean, uh, you also uh, I think you did a video on it. Right. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just wanted to recall on it. I mean, the situation is, I mean, 
know, everything is fine right now, but I just, uh, it, that, that thought came to my mind. I mean, I mean, people don't understand what the motive was. Still, they don't understand because they think that uh, something politically it was involved. But the truth is, I mean, the suicide bombers, they, they were, I mean, their inspiration inspiration was ISIS. I mean, and they wanted to uh, establish Sharia state. Yeah, the inspiration is Sharia not the, the inspiration is not ISIS. The inspiration is the prophet of Islam. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. What I mean is, I mean, uh, yeah. what they the, their theology is like. I mean, what the ISIS, ISIS believe the Sharia state yeah. to establish uh, uh, Islamic state. So that was their motive. Well, my friend, I wish I wish Sri Lanka this year will have a nice uh, uh, Christmas and peaceful, and they they will have a nice uh, and uh, uh, loving time, with, even with the Muslims. You know, try to love them, even what happened. It was very bloody, very ugly, but we advise the Christians not to hate. You know, like the criminals, go and get like let the police get them and 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 uh, let them get the punishment they deserve. But uh, uh, the oh, ones. Oh yeah, who, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I mean. Uh, I mean, uh, Muslims are Muslims are really nice people. I mean, I have a lot of Muslim friends. Yeah, and we don't want, we don't want anyone to, to hate the Muslims. We don't want because hate. You know, if we hate them and we hate, and I mean, the the, the devil is the only one is happy if we are joining the party yeah, of yeah, hate. Yeah. You know, we don't want to be part part no, no, of. No, what hate. I'm saying is, I mean, uh, it's there. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's the I mean uh, core. Yeah core of Islam which is the problem I mean not correct. the people people are very nice correct I mean they are really, really nice uh, people yeah and uh, well, th thank you my friend is, th as you say thank you for calling I as have many many the... many people trying to call so uh, if you can make it short they want to say anything else um no I just wanted to talk and wish you Merry Christmas thank you Merry, Merry Christmas to you and your family thank you very much take care yeah because many people are trying to call and we will try to give them time and ability to call us. Let us see here. We have another caller. The one who could not call, I will call you back. Yes, you are, you are live on air. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Did you, try to, did you try to call me? Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, I don't know if this person is uh, is a qualified to talk because it sounds like a, someone is so young. So we will hang up and we will take another caller. Hello. Yes, my friend. Uh, good evening, uh, Brother CP. How are you, sir? I'm fine, my friend. Brilliant. I've been trying to reach your, um, your ID on Skype. Yeah. Try many times when I overheard somebody telling you that uh, maybe your Skype was on uh, private. Yeah. So as I heard that, I said, okay, let me try and see if I will get you because I've searched for you before. All right. um, my name is Robert and uh, you get my ID on, um, on YouTube as True Mafia. All right. I don't know if you remember that. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, want, I want to bless God uh, for your life. Thank you. For all that you have been doing, uh, I'm so delighted to come across you uh, several months ago through uh, David Wood uh, channel and brother Sham Shimon. All right. And um, I really enjoy everything you're doing, and I pray that the Lord will strengthen you and protect you. Thank you, my friend. Where are you from, my friend? Come again. Uh, what country are you speaking from? 
Yeah, I'm in England. I'm in England. Oh, I'm from I'm England. In oh, okay. In England. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy to have you, my friend. Yeah, and, I'm uh, a scientist. Uh, yes, it, I'm a scientist. I'm you're a scientist. The university as well. well, I am. You know, I'm not a scientist. The only, the only, the only license I have is a driver license. I don't know if that will work. <laughs> <laughs> you only see, only see that. All right, my friend. My brother, you thank you. That. Wish you, you a Merry Christmas. Good, good uh, for everything. Yeah. Wish you, wish you a Merry Christmas for you and your family, and uh, wish you the best for the coming year. The same, the same to you, bro. Take care. The same to you. God, God bless. bless you. Bye bye. All right. Very nice people. Very nice people. You know, you see people calling from around the world, actually, and uh, this is the beautiful thing here. Now we have different accent, but all of us we are family. Uh, that's really wonderful. Uh, I will try to call the one who I could. He could not make it. Let us call this person. Uh, Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Yes, uh, Mr. Prince, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, um, I just want to wish you Merry Christmas. Thank and you. Happy New Year in advance. Um, we thank God for your life and the work that you are doing um, for, to taught us this uh, knowledge, passing on the knowledge to us. Which also I appreciate, like uh, me, when I bought the Quran, I couldn't understand anything about it, not a single word. Because um, when I started listening to you and uh, hearing, and um, I find understanding through through your teaching, to able to know a little bit and uh, have a clear understanding of what the Quran is saying. And also, um, I just want to encourage uh, your work is very excellent. You are building many soldiers for the Lord because it's just like the knowledge I've inquired through your teaching and has built me. I have a way to share uh, my knowledge that you have passed on to us to, to the Muslim. And also, another thing I just want to uh, encourage, I'll ask one question before, before I let you speak to continue. Um, is that if you can, like, you are building soldiers for the Lord, like you are building us up, you are building us up, like, uh, many, like me, I'm a pastor, and so you are not there, so I listened very well to you, to be able to get what you are talking about, to be able to have the knowledge. As you are building many soldiers for the Lord, if you can do this sometime, I'm just, I'm not teaching you what to do, because you're, like, no, if you worry. can allow us sometimes, like, uh, where, as a student, to be able to call sometimes, maybe you, you should have one day for us to be able to call, to be able to ask or use some type of question about Islam. Anyone that wants to know about Islam and anyone that wants to defend it, maybe once, any, once a month, like just allow to be able to share our feedback of what we have learned our, on the field, coming back to you, maybe we have the question to yeah. ask you. Maybe if you think about it. Yeah. And uh, my second thing is that my uh, I found out that every Muslim always have something to say. They always trying to defend. Do you think, like when you are the um, you and me, uh, Ijab was talking on that very day? Do you think there's something hidden that they don't want people to know? Or oh, because I'm always curious about this. Why these people don't want us to? Not to debate, not to listen, not to hear. Is there anything they knew themselves that they don't want people to know, or is there anything that in Islam that some people know about that don't want others to know about this? Yeah. Well, you know, I agree with you that I should give a day, and I think I will do that. And uh, here we go. I approve it from now. From starting from ne next week, we will make a day or two a week where people they can call us and ask a question from the Christians, and Muslim can call too. So thank you for the idea. We will we will do it. Uh, secondly, about the, those names you mentioned, they are not really important for me. Those are because they are afraid, they are terrified. So they will not go to what it's called debate. We did not have a debate because simply he, the, the person you mentioned his name, he is he is terrified to, to, to debate me. So he, he made all the excuses in the world. So he will just make it like I will play a video. Did you say that? Did you say that? But he, he will not debate me. So uh, uh, those are not, we cannot really speak about religion and mention their names because they are just doing business and they are the whole purpose of what they do is just uh, buying and selling 
uh, for us islam is a target not those uh, kids who they are doing business uh, islam cannot debate us islam cannot answer us and this is the important and whoever is a muslim watching regardless he is watching who talking to me he noticed that there is a there is a problem and the problem there's no muslim can stop uh, for a second and say hey i'm going to show you that this guy is not telling the truth but because they knew i'm telling the truth nobody dared to call me and nobody dared to debate me so they debate or if they debate they will lose if they don't debate they will lose so it doesn't matter really so is it that like uh some people know the truth that this is not right that's why they are running away from me their deeds and the quran maybe the muslims are realizing this is not right this not, cannot be true or they know the truth they just want to hide it well they've been like trying to see they've been, they've been. there's there's people who don't know and they put their trust in somebody else supposedly he know and they take what he say for granted and there's people who knows but they defend regardless if it's true or not because simply uh, this is his religion he it, this religion became like an identity for him it's like an id so when you uh, uh, when you speak against islam as if you are speaking against him when this is not really true i'm not speaking against a person i'm speaking about a belief so uh, muslims they, they, they there is very many kind of uh, muslims uh, there is muslim they know nothing about islam anyway and there's muslim they don't care really for islam uh, you know actually me myself the first time i ever heard a joke a joke about islam it was from a muslim me myself this is my experience first time ever i heard someone speak joking about his religion it was a muslim at the time i i, I thought he is just trying to see what i will say you know uh, maybe like you know to pull my legs so i will say what to give me like a <laughs> let us say what he will say you know so no but this person he was really uh, honest and uh, he he believed islam is a, is, is nothing uh, but a false cult is a stupid cult uh, so there is many kind of Muslims. We cannot put them all in one basket. Uh, however, there is people they are doing business. There is people they are naive. There is people they are listeners, and there is people they don't care. And at the end of the day, for us, we do our job. And the one who care, he will listen and he will learn and he will leave this cult. All right. Um, lastly, do you think um, the Muslim focus on the prayer part, not the word? Like Christian, we focus on the word of God. Like we look the word of God literally, and that's why our guide. Do you think Muslims just follow the activities of prayers? They no. just pray, Muslims, pray don't without follow. looking into what the no. Allah is saying. You see, Muslims are not about they follow or not. The Muslims are obligated to do rituals. Islam is about rituals, not about belief. So you have to say certain words. It's like a magic stuff, like voodoo. You have to say certain stuff like you say shahada you say certain words before you pray if after you pray you say you make a certain movement and that will make you a muslim the rest is not important and that uh, uh, you know we spoke about it many times anyway my friend i have to give time for others because there's many people trying to call i want to say thank, thank you, you for the good sir. good thank ideas you. you gave us and we will we will we will do your the, your suggest about taking calls from christians thank you thank you sir thank Take you bless you. merry christmas the ones they could not make it, please call me again. I will be happy to take you. Uh, let us see here. We have this person. He tried to call us. Yes, you are live on air. Yeah, hello. Uh, uh, good morning. I'm, I'm from. I'm calling from North Borneo. I'm Jamal. Hey, Jamal. You are calling from where? Uh, North Borneo. North. You know? Do you know where it is? North where? Uh, sorry, I did not get. It's the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to say uh, Merry Christmas to everyone um, and everyone listening. Christians, Muslim, and thank you. And to you, thank you, thank, thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas yeah. to you. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. I did not get it where he said where he's from. Uh, Bor Borino. Oh, that's Indonesia, maybe. All right. 
Oh, this uh, this brother, he is up very early in the morning. All right. Let us see here. There's a brother trying to call. Hello, Christian Prince, CV. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Hi there. I'm here. Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. I hear you. John from Norway. Okay, John, we hear you. Hi there. All right, I think John here have a problem. I hear you. I'm here. Are you there? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, try to call us again, John. You know your mic is not working, obviously. Oh, your speaker is hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, uh, Yes, my friend, I hear you. Uh, mute YouTube. Hello. Mute, okay, John. mute, mute YouTube. Right, I think John has a problem. Okay, guys, don't call me and your YouTube is on. Don't call me and your YouTube on. You mute it first because that will make two sound. All right. Anyway, I'm really grateful to have all of you guys and uh, uh, thankful for the Lord to have a great company. Uh, great brothers, great uh, sisters, and I'm not worthy really of your uh, uh, words. Yeah, either like sometime, either everybody want to call in the same time or nobody call. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's all right. Anyway. You know, uh, for us as a Christian, we should always care for the Muslims and love them, and never go into the hate. The hate is uh, is a uh, is something not not from Christ, and I know that Christ, like you know, I mean, uh, uh, Christ orders sometimes is not easy to follow, and uh, to practice. But this is what Christ's orders are. Yes, hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. CP, amazing, amazing. How are you? Um, oh, I'm well. I'm doing well. I'm I'm glad you called me. Um, my story is pretty long, but I'll make it as quick as possible. Um, obviously, I love your work, what you're doing. Um, I am a 9/11 survivor from, from the World Trade Center. Oh wow. Yeah. So I I say my story because my story really is amazing. You know. Mm -hmm. Let me calm down. All right. I lost a lot of people that day. You lost what? Like many families. Uh -huh. A lot of a lot of friends. All right. That day. And um and nothing recertified my faith in in Jesus and God than that day. And um and amazingly, and I know a lot of Muslims don't believe this, but at that time I was I was dating someone and she happened to be a Muslim Lebanese woman okay. with her father named Muhammad, just so you guys know. And we ended up getting married, but during 9 11, no one was more angry than her father. Her fa 9 11 brought her father to Jesus. Wow. Oh. And yeah, and I'm one of the very few people that that is married into a Muslim family, and their family seeing how we are, they all ended up converting. That's wonderful, my friend. That's a great news. And it's amazing how I have a father-in-law who's named Muhammad. I have an <laughs> uncle who's named Abdul. I'm not even lying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, it's a good thing, and they've never been so free I mean they're, they're, they're not even the same people and amazingly the father which I told you they was Muhammad he ended up going to his own church and all that and keep, keep in mind that he's got one of those Mohammedan beards mm -hmm. <laughs> he walks in there to the church that was close to him at the beginning people were giving him looks but nobody said anything 
But it turns out through the years that he ends up being the security for the church. Wonderful. Yeah. So my story is pretty well. I mean, I'm pretty happy. I love the Lebanese people. I love the Muslim people, the community. It's just the problem is, like, like you always say, it's Islam. Yeah, the problem you is know? Islam. Not, you know, we love the people and we will never hate them. And uh, Correct. the best thing to do always, not to fail into the trap of the devil because... You know the devil. He he. This is his party. He, uh, the the devil. Uh, you know he wants us to dance with him, and the only way Correct. we can dance with him is to hate somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, that's exactly what it is. And through him seeing how my family is and how loving we are, and he, and one one day he tells me, you know, I was always surrounded by other Muslims, and he tells me. He's basically bought into the whole idea of we. I was programmed to just automatically dismiss and hate. But he saw how we were. He saw how compassionate we are. He saw how we were doing the holidays, our own personal holidays, and birthdays and gifts. You know, we have children together. And he just saw how we lived our life. And based on that, with no pressure, the man made his own decision. And he's never, he, we don't even speak about it, but mm -hmm. we know who he is and we know what he is and he protects us. And, you know, to this day, he's brought a lot of people into the church. You know, most of them are, unfortunately, they're hidden because they, you know, they get reprisals. You know, they take it out on them and on their countries that they belong to and they're those people's families. So uh, there are more Christians that you think that are Muslims, especially in the Lebanese communities. They're more open than to anyone to yeah. hear the gospel, but but yeah, that's my story, and I appreciate your work. Thank you, my friend. You know? Th thank you for your story. I love you. Thank you. I'm gonna say it for everybody in the crew. This is Ed Lorenzo. I love you. We all love you. Thank you. God bless just, you, my friend. Just know that. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to your family, right. and you, say and say and say Merry Christmas special from me to Muhammad and to whatever from his and family. Abdul. And Abdul. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Take care. All right. Take care. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yeah, see the Lord how he you know like he opened the eyes of somebody. I mean he he did not even tell him anything. The the, the, the person he chose to be Christian. So yeah, Islam Islam you know the 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 fruits the fruits of Islam will make people leave this cult sooner or later. You know like when you don't see something better you don't know what is better. When I used to live in the Middle East as a kid, I always imagined my the street in front of my house is so big so wide. You know, I mean, so big until I start going out, out, you know, because we go like we grow in an area. We are not allowed to leave as kids from the area because this is protected area, they say. Uh, family don't trust you to go far. So you don't see what wide street is until you see a wider street. And this is exactly what happened to Muslims. They don't see how ugly the ethic of Muhammad until see until they see the ethic of Christ. Because Muhammad have no ethic. Zero. Actually, he's minus in everything. <laughs> they make too much, too many speeches about him that he is the most wonderful man, amazing, etc. But, but the facts it's the opposite. Talk doesn't match the suit. They dress Muhammad with a suit which is not in his size. So he looked like, uh, you know, when Zakir Naik he dressed a jacket which is so big. To make his shoulder look big and wide but he's so skinny and you know I'm not making fun of his look but I mean the clothes he wearing doesn't match his body you know he wouldn't have a nice big shoulders the jacket is so big but he is so skinny so he look he don't he didn't match inside inside the clothes he's wearing yeah let us see Right, we will take a call. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, is it CP? Yes, my friend. You're live on air. Oh my god. 
Oh my goodness, I've listened to you for so many years now. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. I'm happy that you did. I'm calling you from Australia. Wonderful. I've li been listening to you since I was a young kid. Oh, how, how young at that time you were? Maybe 13 or 14, but you didn't have the name CP. You were just like other names, like another clone and stuff like that. And shake, shake your booty, I think. No, no, no. This is uh, always I have a Christian Prince name. I never have a different name. Those uh, uh, uh. B people, maybe they copy my videos under their accounts and they post them. But this is me. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to say that. Um, so, what's your topic today? Because I always like to stand. Well, topic. no, nothing. It's just we we are celebrating Christmas and we're receiving calls from Christians who like to share their thought about Christmas. Ah, uh, beautiful. I'm actually a Coptic, and I um I love Christmas. I it's my second favorite holiday. My first one is Easter, Wonderful. because the resurrection of Christ brings so much joy. I mean, but of course, the the birth of Him is so important for us all because, you know, He came into the world and saved us. And I feel sorry for the Muslims because they can't enjoy something so nice. And I, you know, all the debating and all these uh, topics, I always I always say to them, we can debate as much as you want, and you're going to hit your head against the wall. But at the end of the day, if you don't feel it. You're never going to experience the true love of Christ, which Muhammad can never give you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, thank you, my friend, for the call, and I really appreciate having you. Okay, wait. I wanted to ask you another question. Sure. Did you, do you know who Abu Nizakaria Butros is? Sure, I know him. Sure. Oh, great, great. No, no, I was just checking. Uh, I, I, I never, and, I, and I, I never, Rashid. I never met him. You know, but for sure, I know him. He's okay, a, good, good. Yeah, he's because, a good, uh, he's, he's a good our man. champion in the in the Coptic world. We yeah. we love him. Yeah, we yeah. love you too. But he's a, he's not a, many Arabs know you. You 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 deal with the English world, which I'm very very happy that you do because the Arabic uh, world we have it well covered. But the English world we don't have many people that deal with with the Islamic uh, problems. Exactly. This is why I'm doing it in English actually, because otherwise in Arabic is a lot easier for me. Yeah. yeah. I'm Thank so so happy that I spoke to you. I've been listening to you for so many years, but I never never thought to call. You're welcome, my friend. And say Merry Christmas to your family, too. Merry Christmas to you. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Yeah, you see, because uh, this is why I chose to do in English, because nobody is doing it in English. When I, I, when I started, it was zero. So there is uh, some doing Arabic, and uh, they are doing a great job, as the, as the name of the person he mentioned, Zakaria Petros. He is a, he's a Coptic priest. He's a wonderful man, great person. And he did a great... Uh, let us say, uh, exposure to the cult of Islam. Um, let us see. Be sure if you want to call us to have to be, uh, you know, over the age of 18. You know, our program, you know, we don't, I don't mind uh, children to listen, but uh, I like always uh, children to do call uh, under the supervision of their uh, family, their parents. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry for the bad signal. Yeah, it's all right. I, and uh, when you called first time, I thought it's like a, uh, the sound wasn't clear. I thought maybe you are under the age. So that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah. right. No, I'm sorry. Right. I just want to pay, say thank you, CP, for uh, the work that you're doing. I just want to share um, a, a story about, I, I'm not a Muslim. I mean, but my father was. Uh, he was a Muslim, and I live in the Muslim your, country. Your father is a Muslim? Was, was, he was. He was, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to give you the time you look, need it, as long as you have a, a look like you have an interesting story. So take your time and tell us uh, what, what happened. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. So it's not easy being a Christian in a Muslim country, and... My father was uh, a Muslim, and 
but he left uh, that call not because uh, he married my mother. My mother is Christian. Not because he married my mother. He left the the call, but he met uh, Jesus as a person. And but for the first uh, time, I not not the first time, but when I um, when as a Christian, I, I I going to school. You know, I got bullied. I got discriminating. And first, I I really disappointed to my father because why why he choose to live so so hard when he can choose to live easily? I think that that was I thought um, because you know he was a a teacher, uh, but I never know that he he have a hard time as a teacher because in in Arabic they call Right, right. Right. Yeah, and I always hear that word for entire of my life when I am going to school, and it, it hurt me so bad. And I never, I never know, I never understand was why he he choose to left left the cult and choose Jesus. But now, and when I hear your teaching. I I fully understand why, and you know right now I still have a Muslim family like my cousins, and once I tried to to uh, to share your video to her, but you know I got rejected, and it made me, it makes me sad. But the most sad is she has not rejected me; she has rejected my Lord. So. I was thinking that why God? I mean, I really want her to know you. I I pray, but no, I understand. I understand. I'm just doing my job, but the rest is is it's it's God. It's God's job. So I just want to thank you, CP, and I need you to pray for my family, my cousins, and I still have a lot of Muslims family in here. I need uh, everyone's in the chats also to pray to my family so they will get the chance to know our Savior. That that is all I want to share because it's not easy living in this country as a Christian. It's so hard, but thank God I have Him. I have my Savior, so He strengthens me every day. So even though it's not me who got rejected, it's him. Uh, that's the most uh, saddest thing is. So yeah, I just want to thank you, Siti, for your teaching, and I will listen all, always. It's not just about uh, Islam, but I need to get to know more about Jesus through your video, even though you are teaching about Islam. But no, I get to know more about Jesus through this your video. So thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, sister. I'm, uh, I'm really uh, honored to hear your voice today and to hear your story. And uh, do you still live in the Middle East? Hello? I think I lost her, maybe. Hello? I live in Indonesia. Oh, you live in Indonesia. Hello. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, uh, my my dear sister in Christ, uh, actually, you know, uh, the, the the Lord He blessed you with many things, and, uh, and the the most important thing that you were coming from a Muslim family, and now you are a Christian. That's that's an extra blessing. You see, me, I did not get that honor to, uh, uh, you know, to to be something and became something. Um, so you have a double honor because you choose. You know, you have a you have a. You, you choose more than I did choose because for me I was lucky I was born from a Muslim, from from a Christian family uh, my parents they are believers so I did not uh, go through uh, what she gone through yeah you know she have a bad connection uh, thank you for calling I'm really blessed to hear your voice and I hope people who they are in the chat they will not act like kids otherwise I will ban you this is a forum for adult if you are a kid please leave there's no place here for kids what we do here is very serious. If you are here coming just to, to be silly, uh, 
you know somebody is crying in the mic and you are making jokes so if you cannot show respect if you cannot hold yourself from being silly and a kid please leave leave in peace all right And each time somebody call us, somebody silly in the chat, he say Tahani. Who is this Tahani? What's wrong with you guys? I mean, why people are like kids? When we are going to grow, speak like adult. Be an adult. Let us see. Uh, CP from Ghana, we have, we love you very much. See this uh, this brother here from Ghana. I mean, this internet is amazing. That we are speaking to everybody from Africa. Look how many Af brothers from Africa. They called us already. Even some of them they live in England. But African people, by the way, the, the amazing the amazing thing about the Lord that one day the white man he went to Africa to teach the African about Christ. And I'm saying Africa. I mean, maybe the middle of Africa because. The, uh, the Coptic, uh, Egyptian, the Ethiopian, they knew about Christ before, even before the white man. Uh, so the white man came to Africa to preach about the gospel and to bring the African to Christ. But today, the African is coming to the white man to teach him about Christ. Isn't it amazing? Let us see. Hello? 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 Yes. Hello? Hi, CP. Um, I'm from Germany. Hello, my friend. And I wanted to thank you for all your things which you do. It's, <laughs> it's very nice. And um, <laughs> uh, sorry, my wife. It's, um, hello? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I wanted to thank you for all the things which you do. It's very inspirating um, because I also try to talk with some Muslim friends of me and I want to share what I know in believing in Christ. And yeah, you give inspiration for all of us. And yeah, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your family with the love to all people in Germany. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Take Thanks. Care. I mean, do you see when, I mean, uh, the, the reason yesterday I did this, because I, people, they were requesting it. But then today I said to myself, you know what, this has made me happy. For the first time, I have a break from the madness. I mean, too much madness and crazy stuff. I, mean, I speak, of, the whole year I'm speaking about nothing but garbage. It's time for me to, to, to speak to, to, about something good with good people. You know what I mean? This is why yesterday, and maybe tomorrow we'll take more calls. I don't know. <clears throat> because I'm really happy to hear the, this uh, this uh, beautiful family around the world. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. <laughs> uh, greetings from uh, Europe, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I just want to say a few things, so I won't take uh, much of your time. Right. I just wanted to say I'm a big fan of your work and keep what you're doing, brother. We love you and keep. Uh, I know you don't like to hear this stuff, but uh, you need to know it because not everybody can do what you do. Those are skills that you have. Not everybody can do it. Thank Just you. that you know that. Thank you, my friend. God bless you, <laughs> and, uh, and I wish you a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, yes, to you also and to the listeners also. And I, I would like to say to you that because of your videos, I would like to thank you for that uh, because. Uh, when I watched your videos, they inspired me and I realized uh, not only faith is enough, you should have knowledge also, you know. Exactly. You should know about your faith. So I learned a lot uh, from you and also from uh, other things just because I watched your videos. Yes. And uh, I wanted to thank you 
for making me laugh with that so-called debate with that uh, little boy hijab. You made me laugh so hard that day. So I want to thank you for that because when I watched the stream from their side, I I died laughing. I died laughing with those kids. Yeah. Well, we do our part and they do their part and people people will watch and see. But uh, they, I lost every respect for them. They act like little kids. Man. Yeah, they are just kids. I could not believe that they were ser serious with that game. They try to slander your name and talk about everything except for Islam. Just talk how you are pervert. That yeah. was the big plan. Those are the heroes from the speaker corner, that, the champion. That is fear. That is called fear. <laughs> Ma, Mimi, you know what, Mimi, he didn't even dare to be in the same room as your voice. He had to yeah. yell at you from the other room. That's yeah. how scared he was. Yeah, no, no, he reminded they, they me put, uh, like a little kid, you know. Who... They put the computer far yes, away from the microphone so nobody can hear what I say. It's a, it's a, let us say, it is an, an evil plan uh, trying to make me look bad, but the fact it worked against them. Because they promise people to have a debate. I know. What is a debate? You are muting, you are hanging up on the guy, and you are in a way. You know? And he opened a topic, no, you don't so, want to talk about they it. Know you. you realize that they know who you are. They exactly. act like they don't know. They know very well who you are. They planned this for months, you know? And just, this was the best they could do. This yeah. was the best, greatest plan they could do. <laughs> just yeah. to mute you, play videos, and talk with themselves. They destroy you, brother. You are finished. You I'm know finished. that, CP. You exactly. are finished now. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, my friend, for calling. <laughs> Let us not waste our time I talking about those kids. Last thing, I know you have a lot of people. Uh, yesterday, um, you had an interesting topic, and uh, when you have the time, I would like to hear your uh, thoughts about that, about the uh, Middle Eastern uh, situation, you know between the Jews and the Palestinians, because a lot of us really doesn't don't, don't know what's going on. And also the Muslims, you know, that's why they are all so hard to reach, because they think the Jews are evil. So maybe because you are an Arab man from a Arab part of the country, you could give your insight about uh, the whole story, you know, who's right, who's wrong, how the Palestinians came there. Uh, you know what I mean? Exactly. No problem. I will, I will, be, I will be happy to answer. Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas to you okay. and your family. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. I'll get to you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, you know, the Middle East issue, it's not about land. It's about religion. And people don't want to understand. You know, maybe we will have some time later. We will talk about it more. Hello? Hello, Baron CB. How are you? Hey, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good, thank you. This is Aldi from Australia. I'm so happy to hear from you and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family and uh, I wish you the best. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, I'm from Indonesia, but I'm living in Australia. Right. I'm from original from Batak, so I'm nervous now, so I, whew, finally I can call you. <laughs> <laughs> Why you are nervous? I'm no, I'm, so, I'm, know, I'm, I'm nobody. Uh, uh, if you if you see me in the street, maybe you will not even say hi to me. I'm no one. I don't even. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't. No, wear... I can recognize your, uh, your voice. Yeah, but I mean, I can't miss your voice so always. Yeah. I don't know who are you. Who's your? Uh, what kind of face? But I know I recognize your face. Uh, your voice. I mean. Yeah. So. Right. I'm so thankful. Thank, thank you for everything what you're doing for us as Indonesian people. You give us a uh, big tools for us to demolish our uh, Muslim in Indonesia. You know because uh, they uh, they lie to us about who is Muhammad, who is Aisha. This is this is just about lie. You know what I mean? So I can't imagine how people Indonesian people they I I, I, I very hard to, to explain to you. But yeah, and. I just say thank you for for to you what you did to us um, and you give us a uh, big tools to us to demolish Muslim Indonesia. Uh, can I say something Indonesian uh, for Indonesian people? Here? Sure, sure, you can say Indonesian. I will translate. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So ya yeah, terima kasih untuk teman-teman orang Indonesia yang ada di channel ini. Terima kasih untuk berdoa untuk CP. Uh, spesial to, untuk Parang Batak di ada di channel ini. Horas untuk, uh, untuk semua. Selamat Hari Natal. And, and 
Merry Christmas to all my family in uh, 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 CB fans, uh, all of you, and all the best. And, and then that's it. And I hope you enjoy your time for fishing trip or in a few days. I love fishing, you know. So if you come to Australia, I'll give you a nice place here, good spot for fishing, if you like. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And let me translate what he was saying. He was saying he want to thank Christian Prince and he wish him a Merry Christmas. And uh, CP is, uh, we listen to him always. And I, oh, I missed one. He said, uh, and don't forget to close the door before you leave. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you very much oh, for calling. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you're doing to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes, my channel is RD. RD, that means uh, Ronnie Dam Damanix. Damanix, that's from uh, North Sumatra. If you're going holiday to North Sumatra, I look after you. So, if you're planning to. But yeah. if you don't, if you change your mind, you can come to North Sumatra to like the most very nice place of the day. I will be happy to go there and you will kick me from your house second day I arrive. No, no, <laughs> no one there, no one, no one there to touching you, man. No, no, no. All no, right, no. okay. Well, uh, wait, 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 right. wait until you see me eating. You did not. You, did, you have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I know you always eating once a day. <laughs> exactly, I eat once I a day. Worry, I don't worry about that. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, brother CP. Thank you. And Thank you for what you what you doing. God bless you. And Jesus bless you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. We lost a call. Hello. Hello. No one there. No one there. Hello. Okay. Before you call me, please hang up your your uh, YouTube, mute your YouTube. Otherwise, we will have to sound, and then I have to mute you. Hello. 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 CP. Yes, my friend. Can you hear me? I do hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, CP. I wanted to tell uh, to wish you a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. Um, you were talking to a lady last night about uh, going to, to Israel. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, uh, I lived in Israel when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I'm Christian. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget our brothers and sisters in Israel. They have Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. uh, well... If you go to Israel, you don't have to be worried about it because the Mossad already knows everything about you. Uh, that, that much they know about me? <laughs> they know everything about you. Don't worry about it. If you have, if they see CP, All right. and uh, as you said, they're not going to let you in just because of that Mohammed stuff. Yeah. Forget it. They already know everything about you when you just get in there and you you want to travel. And why they know? I've been but, traveling. But, but why they know everything about me? I mean, what is uh, what is special about me? Why the why the Mossad would be interested to know about me? Uh, listen, uh, people that are very important for them, they know about them. Don't worry. All right. Okay. <laughs> as, I, as I was traveling a couple of times to Israel, uh, in every airplane you always have a couple of guys of Mossad inside. Mm -hmm. Before you get to the plane, you get three times checked, mm -hmm. and uh, don't worry about it. I'm telling you. All right. If I, if I get arrested, I will let you know. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. All Listen, right. I'm I live in Germany. I'm from Poland. All right. And, uh, wouldn't be bad if you have a book in Polish. Well, uh, soon actually, we have we, ha we we have a translation already done. I'm just uh, waiting uh, for the publisher to see how we can publish it. So I mean, I mean for the Polish people because yes. I can read in German, I can read in English. Any any books of yours? Yeah, yeah, we we, but, uh, I, we have a Polish you know, book already read, uh, translated, but it's not published yet. I hope soon we will be able to publish it. You sh you should go to Poland and see Poland. Poland is a very beautiful country. I would love to. Yeah, and uh, very nice people. I'm sure they are. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. So as I said. Uh, 
Hanukkah to everybody out there for our brothers, the Jewish ones, and to you and your family, all the best uh, in uh, Christmas and have a nice new year. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Take care. Thank you very much, brother. Bye bye. Bye. All right. I'm not sure if I get happy now or I get upset or, or get scared. The Mossad know everything about me. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, God is good. I have no fear from anyone. Uh, let us see. We have more callers. We have here. All right. Not like a bad internet. Yeah, it looks like some people have bad internet. Anyway, you know, for me, uh, I actually I received an email uh, uh, yesterday. Someone saying to me, I went to Israel. It was very easy, but you know, for me, it's different. I'm an Arab. You are not. You know. Hello? Hello? Uh, yes. Christian Prince? Yes, my friend. Yeah. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, for, for receiving my call. I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And um, I want to thank you for all the teaching. Uh, thanks to you, my cousin is long, no longer a Muslim. Um, he was lost. Um, he was totally lost. But uh, thank God, you know, and I, I, I come across, uh, uh, you know, so men of God like you and, and uh, David Wood and I was able to destroy this this lie. It's right. cult. Well, happy for and, you uh, and your family. Yeah. Thank you. I'm very, very, very happy. Uh, I myself uh, I was lost because I was I came from a Catholic background. I was raised in a Catholic family, okay. and um, and, and I gave my life to Christ recently. And ever since, I've been seeing the word of uh, the, the the work of God over my life and uh, many people. For example, going out the street, praying for the sick people, and uh, I will tell you that in less than six than six months, I've seen more than one thousand people healed in the name of Jesus. I mean, you know, I mean, even Muslims, I mean, even Muslims. So this is for everybody. Believers, believers shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Period. I mean, that's I mean, true. Yeah. You know? well, and that, uh, that's you keep up the good work. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and God bless you uh, and your family as well. Thank you. Take care and Merry Christmas. God bless. Thank you. Bye. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Yeah, about healing the the sick. You know, this is a this is a gift from the Lord, and. Uh, um, you know, for us, we pray to the Lord to make it happen, but it happen only if He, uh, if He want. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, this is uh, this is a miracle happening in His name, so His name is involved with it. So it is Him who approve or He disapprove. Uh, anyway. So going to Israel, people thought, well, why I cannot go to Israel? Because I'm an Arab, not because. Uh, so don't describe your uh, uh, your journey the same as going to be as mine. But for me, the second they knew where I'm, like where originally I'm from, it was going to be a different story. And I don't blame them. I mean, this is their country, and there is a lot of risk. Uh, so some people they say to me oh it was very easy i went there and you're talking about you 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 for me if i go to any country in the world uh, you know especially if it's islamic there's a lot of uh, middle east in general you know there's a lot of uh, things to, to, to think about twice before you go or maybe many times before you go uh, anyway do we have any more callers let us see um, let us see, missed call. If you call once already, please don't uh, don't call again. So we can take uh, callers from. I hear the sound of uh, 
This is Skype thing. The noise is an annoying, isn't it? Okay, well, it looks like he's not going to answer, so why he called us? Yeah. Alright. You do not need to add me to call me, you can call me without adding. Alright. Let us see here. We have someone, I guess. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. I just want to say Merry Christmas, CP. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Are you from uh, the Philippines? Actually, um, yes, but I I live in San Francisco. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, uh, a lot of uh, uh, in San Francisco. Correct? I have another account, King Sense. I always, um, I always listen to you, and and I truly believe that you're like like one of the movers in in these end times because you're spreading the word of God through, and God is using you to all the our our. Muslim brothers that have been have been recognized Jesus yet, but I think God is using you. And I just I just actually found about you, found about you about two months ago, and I keep watching you every day. You know, and I was like, man, I never heard anybody speak like you because you're blunt. Let's be honest, you, you you're, you're blunt and you're honest, and yet you're firm. And I just wish you the best. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Good. Take Good. care. Bye. Bye. Well, you know, some people don't like the way we speak because these days everybody is perfectly correct. And, yeah, you know, you have to be liar like the rest. The second you say what is you believe, the people, they will go against you. Uh, let us see here, we missed this person. Hello, Mr. Prince? Yes, my friend, you're live on air. Are you there? Yes, I hear you. I hear you. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it. Turn it around And all what I can see Just a lemon tree oh, I love lemon trees Christmas time is wonderful And we as a Christian We should keep the spirit of the Christmas All year long Not only in the Christmas day Let us see We have a caller Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes, my friend, you are Good morning, Titi. Hello, good morning. Yeah, I'm from Indonesia. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm from Indonesia. All right. I just want to I just want to say uh, Merry Christmas, Titi. I I'm very happy I'm talking to you right now. Thank you, my friend. I'm happy to talk to you too. God bless you. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Merry and Christmas. Do you have any plan to come to Indonesia, sir? Uh, I don't know. You know, we will see. Uh, the, the Indonesian government they did not send me a warrant to be uh, to be arrested yet. We will wait for it, and so I w then I will come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> That's a good thing. You what you're doing right now, and keep doing it. And thank you very much. And for all my uh, fellow Indonesians uh, and the Muslims, please. Uh, listen to this so you guys can come to the truth thank you thank you Zippy. thank you thank you my friend thank you the bless yes god bless you take god care. bless you take care bye bye this person he tried to call me time yes hello hello brother Sipi. my name is reader i'm i'm from us itself uh, you are my, you are, you are welcome, my friend. You are from where? I am from US. US, and okay. I watch your videos regularly. All right. And I'm so blessed by your uh, uh, teachings and the videos, what you do. Thank and you. Uh, it's a great privilege to have you. 
So okay. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and, and your family. And I want to tell one thing that uh, uh, I always uh, li- listen to debates as a third person. So what I saw all the time is when Muslim debaters, they debate, they somewhere or the other, they lie to defend their faith. But I had uh, heard your debates for tons of hours, but I never saw a, uh, any, any lie. You, you, you took a stand for a lie and uh, you, you told any lie there. So I am greatly privileged to know CP and uh, the, the great work you are doing. And uh, it's my privilege to call you today and say, Happy Christmas to you and God bless you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your family, my friend. Don't forget to mention from me, personally, to your family, sure. uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Sure, brother. Have yeah. a good day. Thank you. Bye. Well, I mean, why I want to say a lie? First of all, Christ is nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> you know, you lie when you are ashamed of something. Correct? You lie when you are ashamed of something you want to hide it you know because it's a shame and this is why you know those who defend islam they lie because they are ashamed of it and i understand hello 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 yes my friend i hear you Hi, cp how are you i'm fine merry christmas to you merry christmas how is everything with you? Everything is good. God is good. Okay. I am from Egypt. My uh, YouTube channel is Mark Cyril. Okay. And I follow you and uh, I wish uh, you and all your fans uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. And I have a question for you. For you. Go ahead. Uh, why not you emphasize the, the work of Dan Gibson, Dr. Dan Gibson. Uh, I, I think it's uh, amazing work and, and shows how, how they change the stories and change the history, everything. I think if you make videos about this, it's going to be uh, fantastic. Yeah, well, th- thank you for, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, thinking about that. And I will answer you after you finish. Anything else you want to say? Okay. No, I uh, just w- w- want to wish you Merry Christmas. And thank you. Uh, happy New Year and happy life. Thank you, my friend. Merry thank Christmas. You. Merry Christmas. Take Thanks. care. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah. Well, you know, uh, uh, the person he mentioned, uh, he have a theory, and it, it maybe it's true or not. But for me, you see, if I adopt a theory, regardless if it's true or not, let us say it's true. Let us say it's a one million percent true. That will not change anything. Still, the Muslim will say, I don't believe in this. So the best way for me not to waste my time and hit the snake in the head, not to look at the tail and I say, try to find. This is a history you can prove for people who they are academic, you know. Uh, this is can be useful for those who have degrees and uh, pro- professors and, you know, because then you will speak in, in your level. But if you, if you want to speak to the normal standard people, those things doesn't, doesn't work. Right? So you want to show them Islam is false, just hit the Quran. This is, this is the Prophet said, and this is Allah said. This is not then Gibson said and Christian Prince said. Because I said, he said, will not work. What, what worked for them? Just show them how silly and how stupid the Quran. This is what I focus in. And, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Gibson, he can do his job. And uh, you know, every one of us, he he have his maybe his skills, and he do it in the right way, right? Yeah. Uh, for me, I believe it's a waste of time actually, if I speak about that topic, or make it a target, because it's like somebody coming to me and says Jesus was not exist. I will laugh. I won't even listen to him. You know what I mean? He will make me just laugh. So why I want to do that? We have we have to be uh, we have to be logical. Always speak the language of the people you speak to, and the language here is not about uh, uh, English or Arabic; it's about who they are. 
So if you're coming from high from above and you want to teach them like it's like Aflatone sitting with a bunch of uh, Mimi and Lulu and Susu and Simsi and Aflatone want to debate them. Aflatone will look like fool. You know, Aflatone, he's a philosopher, etc. Because, you know, there's no match and they, they, are, they are coming from different uh, sky. Hello. And you Hello. Yes. CP. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Um, still alive. Nice to hear. Merry Christmas to you and your fans and thank to your family. Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for making all these videos. Thank you for your book. You're welcome. I'm doing my best. I've been watching you for like three months now. And to be honest, you've really helped me a lot. Like, really, really helped me a lot. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. All right. Take care. Yeah, actually, you know. Let us see here. We have somebody trying to speak to us. <clears throat> I wish I can change the tone of this uh, Skype thing. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yeah, Stephen, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Yes. Happy Christmas from Indonesia. Thank you. Uh, how is Indonesia doing? Well, my place is very awesome. So okay. everything is great. That's wonderful. Did Santa Claus come or is late? Not yet. Oh. And this is only 24th. Okay. So yeah, it's still, it's still, actually, it's nice. still early. It's still early, actually. It's still early. But I think uh, Christmas comes to <laughs> Indonesia earlier than us, you know? You have it 12 hours before uh, us. Yeah. yeah. 12 hours. Yeah. So you receive your gift before I receive it. That's not fair. No. In, let's say, in 12 more hours. It's still morning, 6 a.m. Yeah. Well, it's still morning. Yeah, still actually, we have one day to go. Yeah. Anyway, what do you want to say to our sister? Well, basically, I um, I know you keep saying, uh, don't thank me, don't thank me, but uh, actually, I have a personal reason to thank you. But if you don't mind, I'd like to share something first. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I've seen Jesus personally, and it was not even in a dream. I've never said this to anyone except one person, but I'm really thankful that I have a chance to say this to other people. And uh, it happened a very long, long time ago when I was still at college, at around 2006, I think. Mm -hmm. And I really treasure that moment. Um, after that, every moment that happened in my life, no matter how happy, no matter how awful it would be, I would always go back to that moment. And But even in all that, there's one thing that I've always wanted to do as a Christian, which is at least I want to bring at least one soul to Jesus before I die. Is that something weird? Well, I don't see anything weird there. <laughs> So that's basically what I've always wanted to do all along, ever since I met Jesus personally. But being me as a person with, let's say, zero confidence, literally, I always managed to find excuses not to do all that, even though the chance is already in front of me, but I kept suppress myself and give excuses not to do that. Maybe, maybe, it's, it's, not, maybe it's not time yet, but, uh, you know... Uh, to try to see what is the excuses and why the excuses are coming. I mean, why they are born from the middle of nowhere. Yeah. 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 So that few months ago, a friend of me mentioned your name. I've never actually heard your name okay. before a few months ago. Mm -hmm. 
And so I search your videos in your channel in YouTube. And when I watch your videos, I spend about a whole week just watching your videos, except from eating and sleeping. Mm -hmm. I watched all, all your interactions with Muslims, and I could only thought, wow, it can actually be done this way? I mean, you don't even have to show your face, and then you can guide, bring people to Jesus? That's awesome. But come to think about it again, internet reached everyone in old age, so why not, right? Yeah. So I actually have a chance to do what I've always wanted to do all along. So this is why I wanted to thank you, partly because I got this idea also from you, and that I learned so much from your material. Also with other people like you now, like uh, David Wood, Jay Smith, Alfari Colin, etc. Mm -hmm. And so a few months ago, I opened a YouTube channel and I translated your videos in Indonesian language, That's along wonderful. with all other videos as well. That's wonderful. So, uh, and how many subscribers you have now? Uh, in three months already now, it's almost 10,000. That's wonderful. In three, uh, in three, three months, 10,000. That's a lot. Almost. It's yeah. about 9,000. 9, yeah, but always, always uh, have, a, have a backup for the videos because, you know, they can flag you and they can take your channel down. So be careful, you know, and don't give up. If you lose your channel, make, just make a new one. Actually, I advise you to have two or three other channels in the side of this and the channel you have. Um, you know what I mean? I never thought to do that yet. Yeah, yeah. You back up all the yeah, videos you have and open more channels. Uh, you can make like two of them even hiding. You know, load videos there for the moment where you lose the first one. Or you can make them all open at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, because they, will, because they will target your channel sooner or later. Well, yes. I even saw Muslim comments, uh, I mean, non-decent Muslim comments like, oh, channels like this need to be reported, etc., etc. Yeah, I'm sure they will report, but uh, depend, you know, on, uh, you know, how YouTube make decision about it. But uh, usually YouTube takes side with, with, uh, with Muslims, usually. Yeah. Yeah. So just yeah, back up, see, back up the videos. The so that your translation, because you are seeing you with the translation. So back up all your videos and uh, load them in different channels. Even you can make like one is hiding channel just to uh, as backup. You know what I mean? So later you can get the videos you yeah. lost. Yeah. All yeah. right, sister. Yeah, Any, anything else you want to say to us? Yeah. What I actually wanted to say is that uh, the first thought that I came across in my mind when I first decided to do the work for God's purpose is that. I look back to the moment when I met Jesus and I realized something that I never realized before and that is I saw Jesus and not because I was a great or an awesome person, no. It is because, I mean, because even after that I still didn't do anything. I prayed for myself, for my family, or my friends, yes, but that's it. I mean, even bad people can do that, right? Yeah. But what really matters is our willingness to do something extra for people who really need it. Which is to deliver the message of salvation to people who doesn't even know Christ yet, like our Muslim friends. So, yeah, and for the first time in my life, I started praying for all the Muslims, especially in Indonesia, that they may come to know the truth. And that, yeah, and I do that every single day now. And... Uh, Every day I thank the Lord for giving me the chance to work for His purpose. Even though I'm starting with a very small scale, but I don't care because I'm starting. And yeah, I there's no, stop. no. You see, actually what you are doing is very important because, uh, uh, you know, uh, God knows how many people converted or let us say they left, uh, left Islam at, uh, because of the uh, translation you did to the videos. So your work is very important, actually. Because, you know, my, my videos cannot reach out to Indonesian unless somebody translate because the majority don't speak English. Yeah, many of my comments that I see was, well, <laughs> yeah, because they couldn't understand English. So that's why probably I get like 10,000 um, yeah. subscribers yeah. for and this is why, three months on. This is why the work is you do and those who they are, because I saw many channels, they have translation to my videos and uh, those are very important 
uh, for to reach to people who there's no way for me to speak to them or even to explain anything and actually adding subtitle or text uh, translation to video is very hard it takes a lot of time it's time consuming and it's not easy yeah. I see many chats asking for my channel, but I'm not going to say which one is my channel. Yeah. They will find my channel when they do. Yeah, yeah, better, better <laughs> so not to do because they might, the they might say the bad one, they might target it now. So don't do that. Anyway, yeah. thank you, sister, for calling and uh, God bless you and uh, I appreciate your work. Thank you, sister. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Okay. God bless. Yeah, those who translate, they are doing a great job, actually. Uh, because by their help we reach to the one we cannot reach to. Um, okay. Somebody trying to call, but she cannot find my Skype. I don't know why. I mean, DBA TV, there's no space. She will find it. Everybody find it. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. Oh, oh this is such an amazing thing. I'm, I'm so glad to talk to you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, CP. I've been trying to talk to you for a very long time now. Oh, uh, how are you trying to talk to me? Uh, oh, oh, uh, I mean, uh, you tried to call before? You are to you for a long time. Okay. Right. So I've been, I haven't been getting through. I'm so glad to get through now. Okay. And it's so good that it's almost about Christmas and I'm getting to talk to you. <laughs> All right. So what do you like to say to us? Uh, I just, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for all the work that you've been doing. I mean, I'm learning so much from you, especially, uh, your work is really appreciated here in India because uh, I, I, I don't know uh, if you know this or not, but um, uh, we have a little situation here in India where we are trying a, a very grave situation, in fact. Uh, so it's quite, uh, there's some hateful thing going on here, especially for Muslims. So, uh, so I just want you to pray for us here. Um, there's so much hatred for Muslims here, especially from him. All right, no problem. Even Christians are even Christians are getting into uh, that kind of situation. Uh, but their support as well. Support. They are supporting Muslims. Uh, I just wanted uh, you to pray, and especially everyone who is there, who are prayer warriors, to pray for India because um, we might not like Islam. But we really need to pray for Muslims. We do not want them to be prosecuted. That's not supposed to be uh, something that we should do as Christians, right? Um, so I'm, I'm trying to share this message as much as possible so that uh, people start to pray for Indian Muslims. They are being prosecuted here in India. How they are prosecuted? Know, uh, How they are prosecuted? Can you explain? Uh, yes, um, see, we are... Um, our government, uh, it's uh, our government is trying to create this bill uh, that actually, you know, uh, discards Muslim. They are creating the scenario. Muslim, uh, Muslim, Muslim, immigrant, Muslim immigrant, right? Not Muslims, Muslim immigrant, not all Muslims. Muslims, Indian, they will, they will have their citizenship. Uh, no, uh, actually, they have these two bills. One is uh, uh, citizenship, which is a good thing. I believe that gives uh, you know citizenship to all Pakistani Muslim, uh, Muslim and Bangladeshi Muslim and Afghanistani Muslim. However, what they are creating is they have created another bill, which actually takes away that citizenship. And um, that is not only case with immigrants. That is case because that is going to be implemented all over India. And anyone who does not have uh, valid papers, because we are an Indian citizens, right? We have bad bureaucracy and uh, the paper situation where we provide documents that is not valid. I mean, most of the, uh, even uh, citizens like me who have been here for a very long time, we don't have proper documents. And I know how this Indian government works. So even good Muslims or even Muslims who are not immigrant, mm -hmm. they will be, uh, you know, subject. And we have seen this over and over again. So, uh, so this is Indian government's way of not only taking out or 
weeding out immigrants, um, illegal immigrants, but this will also cause, uh, you know, uh, taking out of uh, legal uh, Muslims. And that is the scariest thing. Mm-hmm. We have seen um, them doing this before. One of the states have already been subjected to it, and now rest of the Indian states is going to be subjected to it. And the worrying part is not that. Um, uh, see, I don't want illegal immigrants as well, but I don't want citizens of India to be subjected to this. All right, all right, sister, I, 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 I got you. I, I got part. you. All right, I got, I got what you're trying to say. Anyway, I want to say thank you, and I will answer you after you finish. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family, and I will I will give you an answer later, maybe about this topic. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Sure, sure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, well, you know we are many people are trying to call, and I will answer you about what you said. There is someone here trying to call many time. <clears throat> You can try to call once. If I did not answer, you know, we will call you back. Hello? Shalom. Yes. Shalom, Christian Prince. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm from Tajikistan. Oh, that's and, far. Uh, sorry? Sorry? This is Tajikistan. That's uh, uh, this is the first time I speak to somebody from Tajikistan. <laughs> yeah, I I thought that yeah I would be the first one to call, but I hope that there are some people who listen to you um, who are also from Tajikistan. All right. What, what do you like to say to us? Um, yes, I'm calling in order to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. And um, yeah, to say that I really admire your ministry. I really love you and pray for you. And um, yeah, we learn a lot from you. You are a very important person <laughs> in this generation. And um, yeah, may God bless you, Thank dear you. brother. Thank you very much. God bless you and my, my, my prayer to you and to the people of Tajikistan because a lot of Muslims there too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what is the, I, th- I think the majority of Tajikistan is Muslims? Yes, 98% are Muslims. But they don't know much about Islam, is that correct? Yeah, they don't know. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good actually. Most of them are just uh, traditional, they yeah. are born Muslims and yeah, they don't know really about yeah. Islam. Well, I hope soon we will be able to publish my book in Russian because I think they speak Russian so they can read uh, my, my books in Russian language. Yeah, yeah, that would be great, actually. Okay, well, thank you very much for the call and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you as well. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Let's see how this internet is amazing. I mean, you, you hear from people around the world. Let us see here. We missed calls. Uh, from this person, we will take them into order. Yeah, before we actually take a second call, uh, about India. You see, the, the, the funny is, or the sad, that uh, maybe Indian government now discriminating the Muslims, but Muslims discriminate Indian, Hindu, everywhere. Have you ever heard of a Hindu, he got citizenship in Saudi Arabia? even if he lived there for 40 years. Have you ever heard of a Hindu? He got citizenship in Qatar or Bahrain or Emirat. I mean, there is a, there's hundreds of thousands of uh, immigrants who live in those countries. They are Hindu, but they treat it in a very bad way. So I find it an irony that Hindu or Indian government is discriminating Muslims, but it's okay for the Muslim to discriminate Hindus. You know what I mean? I mean, why we don't see uh, the both sides? Because if you want justice, we'll do justice. They treat you equally, you know? But what I see that the Muslims, they speak too much about justice, but they don't want it to others. They want it only for themselves. So you can, I can treat you bad, but you cannot treat me bad. Uh, I can discriminate you, 
but you cannot discriminate me. And if you discriminate me, you are a fascist. But if I discriminate you, it's my right. So uh, uh, Islamic cult always uh, look at, at people in it down. You know they have the right. Uh, if you if you leave Islam, we will kill you. If you insult the Prophet, we will kill you. Uh, uh, if you come to our country, we will not give you citizenship unless you become a Muslim. Uh, but if you if you if other country do the same to them, they are filthy, they are bad, they are ugly, they are discriminate, they are fascist, all names, you know. So what I see that there is there is hypocrisy. Regardless, I don't know much really about what's going on in India. I'm not from India. What what I know that if you want people to treat you equally, we'll treat them equally. Wish to people what you wish to yourself. And they don't do that. And I'm talking about governments. You know, in Saudi Arabia, go and see how they treat the Hindus. I mean, they treat them really, really. They don't even treat them like a human. You know, if you if you are a Hindu person and you die, they put you in a box, in a fridge, as if you are fruit, you know, like in the top of each other. And then they don't allow them to be buried. They have to ship them. The same as the Christian, by the way, not only the Hindus. So, I mean, go and see how they treat them. But the, 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 you know, the media today is ugly. They have one eye only. They see one side. Why you don't see what's happening? How, how come the media did not call Saudi Arabia a fascist country? Yet just two days ago, a Kuwaiti person who converted to be a Hindu, uh, sorry, uh, a Jew, right away, the Kuwaiti government, they announced they will strip him from his citizenship. Just he became a Jew. He did not do anything. <laughs> Hello? Hello, CP? Yes. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm so, so glad to talk to you. Thank you. Um, normally, I can't call because Mus um, ex-Muslims can't call you. Oh, okay. so, no, no ex-Muslim, they can't call me today. <laughs> today we can call you, so this is amazing. Uh, right. I just want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and to tell you that what you're doing is absolutely amazing, amazing. Um, and if anybody misunderstands this as hating a Muslim, it's not that because I was a Muslim myself and... I am now just praying for the rest of my family. So everybody out there, just pray, 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 pray for Muslims. They don't know what's going on. Most of us, are, I'm African, so we don't even speak Arabic. You're just born into it and you're told it's a mass. But this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm happy for you that you, became, you, you, you left Islam and you became a Christian. But what, oh, what, I didn't leave. What, Jesus found me. Jesus found me. Oh, okay. So, but what, what I mean, uh, me. uh, so your family, all of them are Muslims and you became a Christian. Yes. But uh, if you can make it short, yes. tell us how this happened. This happened because it was 2015 when ISIS was uh, doing all the things they were doing. And one day I just said, I was in my kitchen, you know, I was just standing there and I just said to God, and at that point I'm still Muslim, I just said, I don't understand what you're doing if it's true this is god of abraham how come you tell the christians jesus is your son and then you tell the muslims you don't have a son and that is blasphemy and then you say to the jews oh you love them so much but then you say to the muslims kill all the jews so either you exist or i was really angry mm -hmm. but when i say this you know people they think i'm crazy but in front of me jesus appeared and i saw jesus on a white horse in front of my garden yeah Okay. Well, I'm happy. Uh, uh, happy that you you saw the truth and the truth set you free. Um, thank you for absolutely, your call. absolutely. Thank you for your call, sister. God bless you. Oh no, thank you so much, and God bless you all. And we just keep praying. We keep praying because God doesn't want anyone to perish. We keep praying. I mean to that. Thank you so much. Take care. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, we made an admin, even though the admin did not choose to. I made one admin who speak uh, Indonesian, so this person can watch the channel uh, text. Uh, if those people speak uh, in Indonesian language, so this person can approve their text. Uh, you see, it's wonderful. Look how many people who did left Islam, they are calling. And look how they are happy. You see, Christ, he brings happiness to our life. That's what happened. Christmas is not just about a day. It's, you know, your life changed because hate is gone from your heart and you are a new person, you know. Uh, 
always through the work I do, they try to make me like as a person who hate Muslims. And the reason for that, they try to do it this way, because they want the Muslim to reject whatever I say. Because if you hate them anyway, they will listen to you. You are a person who hate them, right? So this is an evil plan. And they fear, they fear very much. They fear love. So if you are able to show that the truth is that a Christian person, he cannot hate the Muslims, then Islam is gone. Hello? Hello, Christian friends. Yes, my friend. Hello, it's lovely to hear your voice and uh, to hear you here on uh, almost Christmas Eve. It's from Norway. I don't hear you say again. It's uh, lovely to hear your voice. And Thank, it's thank you. It's almost Christmas Eve now. All right, yeah. Good to have you, my friend. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> first of all, I want to say that uh, I love the work you're doing. It's, uh, it's very, very important. And I think you paved the way for many, many others to come to defeat this evil that is uh, all around us. I mean, it's, uh, it's a real warfare going on and we have to deal with it. So uh, we are all, you know, very blessed Thank you, my friend. Uh, with all you do. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Uh, but some other things I want to say here that uh, Christmas is uh, time for love and giving, sharing with people around you, right? Correct. So I feel that, or I know that there are a lot of lonely people around, and I feel it's so important to to address those people because loneliness uh, in the world today is actually a very big problem. Yeah. And I feel that we we should we should as Christians, uh, you know, we can. Uh, <clears throat> You know, if you know some people who are lonely or something like this, we should uh, do something, maybe make it a call or something, just to show our, you know, to show our love and to care for other people. Because I think that Christmas is a time for a lovely time with our friends and everything, but there are so many lonely people in Christmas time. And I think it's on the time also and I think it's correct to address this uh, problem because there's a lot of problems. I come from Norway and I know that there are a lot of lonely people around here. And so I think for all people and all, all your audience, everybody listening, please, please, if you know somebody who's lonely or needs some help or something, call them. They will be so happy. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for the thank you for the advice, my friend. Yeah, and I think this is a very very important uh, thing, uh, and because there is, uh, you know, um, there is a lot of uh, suicide going on around the world, and I think, uh, you know, and Christmas time is very crucial, and many people feel lonely. So that's just a one to address, which I maybe it's not being so many people. <laughs> Uh, talking about, but I think it's a very, very important thing to address in the time where many, many people are happy and meeting friends. And what about you, Christian Prince? What's your plan for tomorrow? My plan for tomorrow is the same as the plan as yesterday: is to do what I do best, which is sharing my what I know about uh, about this world. You know, sharing knowledge. <laughs> I have nothing for myself. There, there's nothing for myself. Christmas? Plans, your friends, you no, want to uh, go to or stay with the family. For many, or many, I don't know which no, no. family situation. I have no idea, and I understand that you want to keep it like. Uh, no, yeah, I, I have you know, no. I, I have. I am a person who have no family except you guys, and every Christmas, actually, I spend my Christmas and my New Year Eve with you, and this is for many years. I never have. Yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear you all right. CBS question, Prince. But uh, I'm very grateful to to be here and uh, yeah, yeah, just to get this message and uh, yeah, thank you. As you know, I love your work. We love your work from Norway. Bless being, bless you and uh, blessings from Norway. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, actually, every every Christmas, if you go to the last maybe I don't know many years, every Christmas I'm here. 
in, like when I was in chat, uh, uh, I have a, my chat program. It was the same every Christmas. I am with the people. I don't go to anyway. I mean, that's it. Uh, every uh, on every day, every day is not just uh, you know. Not, uh, Christmas for me is is a better Christmas when I do what I do best. It's not when I watch a movie. You know what I mean? So this is what I do always. Nothing change. Uh, but maybe next week I'm going to go like for a, a some uh, like trip. Um, I will do some business. In the same time, I will do. Uh, uh, you know, like uh, the area I'm going to have a beach, so I will be uh, able to uh, go and do some fun in the beach, uh, just for a change. And uh, uh, even though when I go there, I will be sure to take some videos and share them with you. I will do some fishing. Maybe I can go. I don't know if uh, if the network there is good to do live uh, fishing. That would be interesting. <laughs> And let us hope is that going to be embarrassing. Last time I did fishing, there was a kid, he is nine years old. And I was waiting for hours, not even a fish. And the kid, he got a fish every five minutes. And he looked at me and he put his tongue out like, uh, you know. And like, like I was saying to myself, what's wrong? <laughs> I think because I'm scared even the fish is going away. Anyway. Hello? <laughs> Hello, CP. Yes, my friend. Uh, hi, this is uh, K. Vishwas from India. Welcome. And I have been waiting since 3.30 in the morning and trying your number. I was never having any Skype ID or anything. I just uh, made one okay. and called you. You're and welcome. I'm very grateful for all the help that you have rendered to us in India. And believe me, you have been of great help to really spread the good news of our Lord to Quran because you really really uh, do such a wonderful job that in india you know we have so many uh, muslims here uh, who go to darga if you know what is darga and uh, hello yeah i hear you right no sorry yeah and they go to darga and uh, you know these people are very ignorant you know they say they believe in uh, islam but really to tell you there is no knowledge that they have about their own religion and it sometimes becomes that we are educating them about their own religion and the sad part for me as a christian to tell them that you are really so ignorant about what your books are saying they don't even know what the quran says they do not speak arabic or read arabic well but they know uh, that they have to hate all others uh, when it comes to the crux of it. And I'm so thankful that, uh, you know, with the grace of God and uh, with the support that you have given us, you know, it's, uh, you know, lovingly we could tell, tell them like how, how the cult is really spoiling their generations. And uh, believe me, it has been spoiled. And now that we are, telling them the truth and they are turning back uh, towards Christ. Not not, not that they have converted, but at least they give a listening ear to us. And uh, I really thank you. And there's a request uh, from our end, from Indians. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you, you sometimes come uh, at our timings and uh, because of the Indonesian people, I thank those Indonesian people that, you know, uh, but, but there is so much uh, need of you in India too. So at times, you know, uh, please make some time which would match the Indian timing. Okay, so that is a. Well, I think uh, in, Indian or, timing. I'm not sure what the Indian timing because India is is big. So like, what is I the know. best time for India? I mean, because depend in location maybe. It's early uh, five thirty in the morning now. I I am listening oh, to your okay. program since hmm. three thirty in the morning, three thirty a.m. Yeah, that's too early. And now I could reach the yeah, well, thank you very much for staying that late and uh, just to make a call. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you for your great help and okay. wish you Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year ahead. Thank you. Merry thank Christmas. you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, I, you know, I try actually to make different timing always so we can reach people from different locations. Let us see somebody trying to call. Um, here we go here.
हेलो यस हेलो हेलो यस वी हियर यू दिस इज क्रिस्टन प्रिंस यस माय फ्रेंड थैंक्स गॉड गॉड ब्लेस यू माय फ्रेंड मेरी क्रिसमस एंड आई एम फ्रॉम इंडोनेशिया ऑल राइट एंड सो हार्ड टू कॉल यू थैंक्स गॉड इस डे आई मैनेज टू कॉल यू एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल I'm sorry about my um English is not so good. So is so, mine. So uh, I hope you understand me. No worry. And uh, in in Indonesia we have a good government now uh, but in the various of country in the uh, some of province we Christian uh, have a difficulty uh, to celebrate Christmas and thanks for the government they uh, bring the good um, a good choice to stay uh, equal to every religion in indonesia and uh, the last last thing i want to say to all the christian in indonesia about the word uh, we use in our bible is allah mm-hmm. a double l g h that is wrong because i doing a uh, research myself about the word allah that is not the god uh, of abraham of jacob and of israel so to all uh, the priests and all the highest uh, position in the church in indonesia to consider that uh, allah is to change not doing yeah. that again not use that word again and thanks to you in my family i do not use that word again thank you christian prince you welcome that's it for me thank you bye bye thank you i got this you merry merry christmas bye bye yeah yeah that's what is wrong to you is there is many bible translation they are using the word allah that's absolutely false translation and we should avoid saying the word allah praying to god but but you can say i mean that there is so many like especially in the middle east the generation they they learn nothing but the saying the word allah but this is false name false god it's a big big mistake christians they do when they use it um but people they are inheriting false inheriting and the uh, and the one to blame actually is the priest most of the priests are just doing business sadly but we are here to share the truth uh let us see do we have many anyone else There's somebody. Uh, his name is uh, Kies, uh, but he did not call me to call you back. I mean, Kies, where are you? I don't see your name to call you back. I don't see anyone here. His name is Kies. Right. I don't see anyone. And you know the, the 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 like the thing I can say to all who they are listening, that don't think that because you are just an individual you can do nothing. I mean, look at me. I mean, me myself. Um, uh, English is not my first language, and it's not even good. And then this guy who don't even speak good English, is going to teach in English. I mean, how he want to do that? And not only he want to teach, he want to teach about something very complicated. It's a, it's about religion. You see, when you speak about religion, a, a language skills is very important. Because sometimes saying the wrong word can, I mean, change the whole meaning, right? Like you want to say something, but you say something else, and because your the, the word you know in the language is limited. So sometimes you use a word which should not be there. So it's not easy. However, if you are consistent and you are a person who believe you can do it, you will. <clears throat> Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. We hear you, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm talking to Christian Prince. I am with you. <clears throat> 
Okay, I'm, okay. I'm Harry. I'm calling from Nigeria. Welcome, my friend. Okay, so I would like to um, to contribute and let you know the reason why you know, I love Christmas. Okay. And you've been doing a great job. I learned a lot from you. Thank you, my brother. What do you like so to say? It's, 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 it's a pleasure, you know, to have someone like you, you know, doing the job, you know, the, the most, you know, bishops, you know, and uh, pastors and the priests, you know, should be doing, you know. Yeah. Well, we don't wait for them. They are most, most of them, they are just doing business. Somebody have to do the yeah, right I can thing. See. We all can see because, you know, you show <laughs> us, you know, what the truth is and we truly appreciate you and um, keep up a good job and I want to quickly share, you know, the reason why I love Christmas is because, you know, it's remind us you know, how loving, you know, God is, you know, and we, we, we tend to extend the love, you know, to people around us, you know, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I mean to that. All right, my so friends. Keep a good That's... job, Christian Brains. It's, it's really a pleasure, you know, talking to you. It's, it's an honor speaking, speaking to someone, you know, of your magnitude, you know, your knowledge is so phenomenal. And keep a good job. And God bless you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Take, take care. God bless. Bye bye. All right, sir. All Thank right. you. Yeah, this is exactly what's happening. Those priests are just. They are priests. I mean, they are just doing, you know, what priests do. Collecting money and sitting home. <coughs> Hello? Yes. Hello? 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 Yes. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. You are live on air. <laughs> you're, you're jittery over here. I think this is fantastic. I finally got a hold of you. Uh, I just, I, uh, I've been, I've been your. Uh, I, I must be delayed. Yeah, it's okay. I hear you. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, I, I better, I'm, I'm hearing it off key here. Maybe I need some, some, okay. some screw is going around here. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, let, let, let me let me call you back. Let, me, let, let me call you back. Let me call you back if you want. Call you back. I will. I'll, because, I'll see how you get out of here. Yeah, uh, the sound is bad. You know, I cannot hear you. Let me call him back. <clears throat> yeah, don't forget to mute you too, please. Listen to me from Skype, not from you too. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get off of YouTube then. Yeah, mute you too, because that will make you have a delay. Oh, in the... Someone's screwing things up here. Okay, it's off. It's off. It's oh, off. It's oh, off. Okay. It's off. Well, hey, Christian Prince, I just wanted to tell you that I think you are a modern day hero. Uh, getting the people to think, you know, getting uh, Muslims to think and let them know that there's a there's an alternative. Uh, to what they have, that, you know, it's like a total waste of time that they have their patootie in the air five times a day, you know, um, that there's a God that loves them. And uh, I just think you're fantastic. I've been following you since uh, 2007. And uh, every, 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 I think even before Muhammad too. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I think I think uh, I, you uh, you are the one once who uh, climbed a board and you wrote my name in the board in the uh, the board in the highway. Yeah, yeah, the, in, in the, the, highway. the billboard. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, made a video called uh, uh, "Islam Meets Fight Club," 
<laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was surprised. I saw my name in a billboard in the highway, and oh, yeah. I was uh, oh, like, how he... how my name become there? And it was him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, that, I'm the guy, all right. Um, I, I was trying to demonstrate how uh, that kind of vandalism will not be uh, uh, reported because if it does, then they'll see that. Uh, uh, It'll, it'll point them to uh, uh, parts of the Quran they don't want people to know about, like Quran 9, 1 through 5, Quran 9, 29, Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39. Yeah. Uh, then David Wood. It, well, of course, I, I didn't know David Wood back then. X-17 Apologetics, Ahmed, no, Quran uh, 5. Yeah, at that, time, at, that, at that time, those names were not exist, actually. I know. Mohammed Tube is gone. Uh, Trees Tube is gone. Um, they were great though. I used to post my videos on both of those sites and now they're gone. And, um, there was another time at that time, there was a, a, another website called, uh, Netscape's propeller. And, uh, I think that was designed to promote Islam and, uh, attack. Um, it, it was basically an, an Obama, uh, supporting site mm -hmm. and uh, I got on there and I uh, kept on bringing up Takia which you taught me about and as I, as I remember Takia the video did on Takia with the uh, Quran 328 that was the very first video the Muslims had you to pull off <laughs> you know because yeah. and I kept on bringing that up on uh, on the Netscape propeller website and uh, there was a guy, I think he was a corporation, his name was Dionys, and he was always trying to de uh, denigrate and attack those that were bringing up things about the Quran. Mm -hmm. Every time I bring up Takia, he, he would try to always, uh, he said he wasn't a Muslim, but I, I, I think he was a corporation because of all the people on that site, he had the most comments. And anyway, uh, they eventually pulled off that site. The, the site collapsed because more and more people were coming around to seeing, yes, Takiya is definitely a reality, and Muslims are allowed to lie, thanks to Quran uh, 328 and uh, Quran 16106, which, of course, is contradicted by the very next scripture, Quran 16107. But anyway, I just want to let you know that I think you're great, and I'm sharing your videos on Facebook as long as I can. Um, I, I have a YouTube site, well, some YouTube, actually a few YouTube sites, and YouTube pulled off 10, year, 10 years of my comments, because that's where I shine. My videos are crappy, but they pulled off those, those uh, comments, and so now Muslims, if you go, if you see a video that actually still has, they're talking to nobody. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, I've got to take off right now. Okay, so just thank you. Merry, thank you very Merry much. Christmas and Happy New Year, and love you very much. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Take care. T -t take care. Bye bye. Bye. All right, let's see. Thank you, Bruce, for calling. Very nice guy. Uh, let us see this person here trying to call. <clears throat> Hello. Praise the Lord, brother. God bless you so much, CP. Thank you. Uh, I, to be honest, it's my first time trying to call you. I'm a Christian from Malaysia. All right. My name is David. Okay. Uh, I've been watching you almost the last one year. Uh, actually, I started when uh, David Wood had the debate with uh, Mimi Hijab and... Um, I was really looking to hear somebody who knew Arabic. And um, the first time I heard you, I was so filled with joy. I was laughing uh, the way you were debating with the Muslims, telling them, you know, Abdul, you are a certified donkey. <laughs> I don't think I'll forget those words. Uh, it was no, you say those, those words, I say to somebody, he, you know, he tried to insult us. 
and he, he think he can fool us otherwise i don't think i don't you know i don't say that to to all to all people if somebody uh, let us say he deserve he call me names they call me names they call me liars they call me uh, stupid they call me uh, whatever i mean they say all kind of things and then and they even they call you donkey so then when you say to them okay let us see who is the donkey this is the whole point let us see who is the donkey you know me or you and then people will judge no because um, like my point was um, after that that debate that david would had the first one or two reviews that i saw was from uh, I think it was from AP and another ATS, and they were saying that David Wood lost. I knew they were wrong, but I I didn't know Arabic at all. So uh, Sister TP Bear kept putting your name in the YouTube channel. So I said, okay, I know. I mean, I, I've heard of the Pope, I've heard of Bishop or Archbishop, but I never heard of Christian Prince. So I, <laughs> I was thinking in my head, I wonder what a Christian Prince is like. So anyway, I, I I joined in, and then when I listened to uh, first your Arabic translation, number two, the fact that no matter what words you put on the screen, uh, even till today, not one Muslim say it's false. No, you know? they say no, they say it's false. They say I, I, it's I false. keep telling, they yeah, say... I keep telling my friends, hmm. not even one person, from the greatest scholar to an ordinary Muslim, will tell you that the verse is false. Yeah, he will not say this word is false, but they will say Christian Prince is lying. Uh, that, that, that's that's the part. That's where I knew you got them because if the verse was false, they will just put a side by side copy to say, you know, oh, look at this verse that CP gave. It's wrong. This is not what the Quran or the uh, Arabic says. I, uh, that was one thing, CP. The second thing was this. Uh, some of the things that you teach. Uh, I think even Muslims don't know. I, I Malaysia is a Malay Muslim country. Uh, the basically they pray five times a day, but I I doubt even like ninety five percent of them know Arabic or they know how to read their scripture. Most Muslim think of Jannah as some kind of a holy place. They have no idea like you know what you are saying about having seventy horis or or things like that. They they just don't know. So quite a bunch of Muslims don't know what they are doing or why they are even doing it. You know, I know this this call is for Christmas, and um, for me, Christmas is a sign to the world, because even in a Muslim country like here, like Malaysia, if I were to go and ask any Muslim, uh, why why do we celebrate Christmas? They will tell you it's the birth of Christ. You know, so Jesus becomes a real person, a historical person. And uh, somebody they can relate to. Yeah. I was sharing with my Indonesian uh, friends uh, pictures of uh, Christmas celebration around this country, like in the malls, uh, different parts of, uh, even in some churches where Muslims will come, take pictures, uh, wish us Merry Christmas and go. Because on a personal basis, people to people basis, uh, Muslims still uh, talk to us. And uh, I've met Muslims who actually tell me that, you know, I don't believe my mufti or I don't believe my religious teacher because Jesus is not just a man. If he can heal the sick, if he can cast out demons, if he can still touch us today, he's, he is God and they're just hiding it from us. Well, my friend, thank you very much for calling. There's many people trying to call. And, uh, you know, each, each one of us, he have his own experience with the Lord and the Lord uh, uh, the relationship in Christianity with the Lord is something very personal so every one of us Understood. he should have his own uh, way to see and to learn uh, and uh, at the same time we have a duty to share thank you very much for the call God bless thank you Merry Christmas now there's somebody in the text he keep posting I blocked Middle Eastern from calling because they want to say to me Merry Christmas first this is very silly because in Skype you cannot block Middle Eastern I mean, what's wrong with people? I block Middle Eastern. Why? I'm a Middle Eastern. You will say to me, no, I'm racist. <laughs> Why do you want to block Middle Eastern who want to say Merry Christmas? I mean, you, you, some people are really funny and weird. Uh, 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 in Skype, you cannot block anything. I mean, you can block a name. Somebody called you once. You don't like him. You have to add him first, and then you can block him. Which means before he, he contacts you, you cannot block him. 
So don't be silly and uh, I don't know what's wrong with people. Too much, uh, change your food, change your diet. All right, block Middle Eastern. Lord have mercy. Uh, we have okay text hello hello yes hey cp how are you i'm fine Hey, I actually called you yesterday, but my neighbor turned off their Wi-Fi, so it got disconnected. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. The, so it was actually some network issue. The wife, so the wife to... of the neighbor changed the password. Yeah, it was hard. I have to call uh, the technicians to hack his password again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, uh, again, uh, so I was actually calling you, and just to say, you know, uh, the way, uh, you know, the way you do the... Uh, the video and everything is so different. Like you just don't, you know, refute someone. You do teach them. It's not just about refutation and become a hero. It's it's also about you know giving them a proper lesson and uh, knowledge about Christianity and Islam. Uh, so that's what you know differentiate you from uh, others. And also you tell about uh, God. Like God is love, and you know. Jesus Christ is about love. So that's the main message of Christianity and to love your neighbor and enemies. You know, everything, everyone knows about these things, but it's like when it comes out from someone, you know, someone like people who honor you, who, you know, give uh, a lot of attention to you. So it's a good thing to hear from uh, you, all these things. Yeah. Thank you, my friend, for the call. I appreciate it, and I'm Yo, glad the neighbor did not turn the internet today. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you. I'll tell you. All right, to thank you. Okay. Off, and I'll make you a little jealous. I live in uh, Houston, and the weather is 65 degrees. So. Oh boy. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All Already right. then. Thank you. Merry Have Christmas. Nice. Merry you. Christmas. Yeah, somebody was saying in the chat that priests don't, uh, you know, you see, I don't mind the priest take a salary from the church. I mean, for sure he would take salary from the church. I mean, he have to make a living. He have to pay for his gas. For this is not what I'm talking about. Everybody need money. There's somebody in this earth who don't need money. No, we do. This is not what I'm saying. But a priest, and yet he don't do what he need to do. He is a fake priest. Correct. So if the priest he don't teach the children, so they will not be deceived. Who will teach them? If the priest will not teach the adult of the church, who will teach them? So if a priest, he go to church to do just a service, which is like, okay, let us say our, our father out of heaven, or wave your hand to Jesus, and nice to meet you, drink coffee, go home. So this is not a priest. Correct? This is not a priest. The priest is what Paul used to do, what Peter used to do. Not somebody read it from a book. They have a book, imagine, they have a book. They don't even make speeches no more. They read it from a book. It's not their book. Hello? Hey, CP. Hey. Uh, sabah al-khair. Sabah al-noor. <laughs> this is a world changer. Welcome, world changer. Did you change the world or not yet? We are changing the world every day <laughs> as you have changed the world as well. All right, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, I really want to thank God so much for getting to know you and getting to know what you are doing. I have come across this, across your channel like uh, 11 months ago. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a person who used to listen to... Um, David Wood and the late uh, Nabil Qureshi. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so like one day I was like just going through David's David's uh, videos, and then I came across your video, the one the the newspaper the the, the, the Indonesian newspaper ex <laughs> the supposedly exposing Christian prince. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, who's this guy? 
like so then i went like through your channel and i from there you know i never looked back <laughs> and i really want to say like since i get to listen to you uh, i really learned a lot i really learned a lot mm -hmm. so for me like uh, i have a lot of a lot of malaysian muslim friends and i really love my friends so much <laughs> And I really want them to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It's very, very important for them to know Jesus Christ. Um, but of course, you know, we have to do it with God's wisdom. Um, and we have to share what we know with them. And I really thank God that we are learning, learning so much from you. Thank you, sister. Well, I'm happy that you you do. And I I learn from you too. I mean, we, we uh, th this world is, is built in we learn. Everyone, the one who know, he still he do not know, you know. So all of us, we learn from each other. And the Lord, he gave each one of us a gift he can use and somebody else, he don't have it. So you can teach him from your gift. So I'm sure, you know, you yourself, you have a gift and you can teach people around you something good. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for calling, sister. Yeah. Thank you. I, uh, I, mm -hmm. I wish you a Merry so, Christmas yeah, Merry to you and your Christmas family. Merry Christmas to you and Merry Christmas to the listeners. <laughs> Thank you. We're always there on the chat room. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Take care. Bye. 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 Yeah, there is someone trying to call supposedly, but I don't know why this person cannot find me. Let me search for the name. Give me a break, guys, from calling. Let me search for the name. M S K. Uh, M S. One. Zero four. Well, this name cannot be found anyway. Maybe it's a blocked. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talking about uh, about uh, priest, you see, uh, uh, for sure, I, I have nothing against uh, uh, a priest. Uh, there is wonderful priests, priests who they are doing great job, but generally speaking, those priests are not doing their job. You know? Hello? Hello, Christian Prince? Yes. How are you doing today? I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from West Texas. Thank you, my friend. How is Texas doing? Well, it's okay. It's cold. Out here is a little cold. You know, I just want to say hi to everybody on the chat room. And if everybody want to know where I am from, I am from the place where the, we're going to destroy the Kaaba. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you are from Ethiopia. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. <laughs> you are fishy. It sounds fishy for me. <laughs> yeah, it sounds fishy, but I'm from Ethiopia. Where we gonna destroy in... the Kaaba one day? Hold on, brother and sister. This person, he is the one that's going to destroy the Kaaba, and the prophet he speak about him. <laughs> and let me describe him for you. First of all, he's tall, and he's like a five, six foot full, and he have working curly hair, and he's from Ethiopia. Get what his name? Where he's from? He's from Ethiopia, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, Christian Prince, you know, as I, you know, we chat one day on Facebook, and I was, I had a lot of Muslim friends, you know, and I tried to show them every screenshot I took from your uh, live videos or your videos on YouTube, but I have a friend, he's he's getting hard time, like, please, please don't mention this guy because I have, I'm having nightmares. Well, so now is the time for you to see what's the truth, you know, mm -hmm. and I just want to mention before i leave you thank you for your work and we are very happy we are proud of you what you are doing nobody can do and everybody on the chat room let's pray for cp and let's help him out in everything we can you know thank you my friend god bless take care god bless you i'm so happy you pick up my phone because i've been following you since 2016 god bless you again and merry christmas to everybody merry christmas take care bye bye yeah, Ethiopian people are wonderful people, and they are, by the way, they received Christ long, long time ago. Uh, the Ethiopian, they are one of the first churches established in the world. Uh, like, you know, the, the, the disciples of Jesus, they did a great job, and they did not only go to, uh, to, to like, uh, Europe or starting from Syria. They went to Ethiopia, to Egypt, all the way to India. Um, hello? Hello? Mr. CP, how are you, my friend? I'm fine. Merry Christmas to you 
and to everybody who is listening to us. Thank you. How's everything going? Good? Everything is good. Thank you, Lord. Okay, sounds good. CP, I want to talk to you about a couple of little things. I know, you know, today is the time you take calls from Christians and not Muslims and things like that. So, you know, hopefully you allow me the time to speak to you and speak to all of us. A couple of things I want to explain to you, in my opinion, that, you know, with us as Christians, and I called yesterday, we always have this debate between Protestants and Christians and so on and so forth. And I'm the first person to say that this is wrong and it's against Christ. You agree with me, right? Go ahead. I'm just saying. Okay. Now, different people have different beliefs as far as the tradition of the church. And I want to sp you know, speak to all you know, the listeners and everything. The problem that divides us as Christians and Protestants is wrong. But here's the situation. Christian, what, 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 what is wrong? What, what is wrong? Hold tradition. on, hold on. Hold on, okay. what is wrong? Hello? You said the Christian, what is wrong? The Christians, we have a different belief as far as, you know, Christian and Protestant and so on and so forth, but it's a misunderstanding. Okay. Okay. So, here's the thing I want to express and listen. Yeah, but you know, we, we don't want to change, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Please, you see, today our topic is not about this, and we don't want to kill the time just speaking about something we repeated one million times. Give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. Okay, just give me two minutes, and I'll make it clear. No problem. Okay. The problem is, is that what divides us between Christianity and Protestantism is an, is a non-understanding of what different Christians believe. And I want to let all of our viewers understand that just because there's a difference in what we believe in does not mean that this should divide us because there is a big division. There's a big division, and I want to correct this so that if any of your viewers and you know, people that I talk to have a misunderstanding that it should not divide us, but it should unite us, okay? So, for example, and I'm going to make it brief, and I understand this is not the topic, but this is important to help unite us as the Christian family, okay? okay. Now, in, for example, when we speak of priests, they go on Sunday and they say the same thing. You know, they come in, we repeat the same thing, and you say they don't preach and teach, okay? We believe in the Holy Eucharist, and in the Holy Eucharist, in our devotion on Sunday, that means we receive the Eucharist, we say the Our Father, we kneel down, and this is what that means in that time. There's other days in the week where we have to preach and we have to teach, okay? So just because, for example, somebody goes to church and says, they just preach and teach, or this is just same repetition. We have to go back to history and understand what it means. You see what I mean? Yeah. But the most important thing is that we have to study why certain people do certain things, but don't let it divide us. Our preachers and our priests divide us based on tradition. But unless we look back and we research why these things are done, and we make an analysis of this, then we should. Uh, then we will understand that our churches are not divided based on what tradition is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to understand, but people have to do their own research and they have to do their own search and everything else. But you know Islam better than any Muslim in the world. But when it comes to Christian doctrine. You see what I mean? Hmm. If you give your opinion on certain things, some people may agree, you may not agree, but this is not 100% what your specialty is. But we have to not knock down what the priests do or what the preachers do or anything else. We have to look at what unites us. And if anybody has any question about Catholic theology, Orthodox theology, Protestant theology, I encourage them to go to YouTube and listen and judge for themselves so that we may be united and not divided. All right. Thank and you. This Mark. is what I want all your all right. listeners to understand and know because in the end, there's one Christ, one salvation. And you, we cannot allow what man has done to divide us. And if they have questions, we, when we bring this up, everybody fights and argues. Go to YouTube on your own, use your own brain, and listen to why 
there is the Eucharist, why we believe that this is the blood and body of Christ. Whether it's in remembrance of me or if he says, this is my blood and body, go back to the church fathers. Let us do our own our own research and not just listen to what people say and what our preachers and what our priests say and go back and make this to divide us. Use our own brains, do our own research, and the truth shall set you free in Christ as Lord. And l let us not ever, ever, ever listen to what anyone or any expert says until we use our own mind and our own brain and listen to what is the Catholic belief, what is the Protestant belief, look at all of it and find out how Christ will unite us. Okay. And Merry Christmas to you and to everyone, and God bless you all. Do not be small-minded like the Muslims. Do not be small-minded like the atheists. Be smart like Christ told us, gave us our own brain. Research all of this and see the view of everyone else, and let us not argue and fight, and God bless us all. all right. Merry Christmas, my brother, and amen to all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, as you said, people agree with you or don't agree, but uh, uh, me don't have a specialty. Uh, that is the last thing really to mention, because if every one of us to have to have a specialty to be Christian, that would be a horrible thing. Uh, we are not the same Muslim. We do not need uh, uh, we do not need uh, Tafsir Ibn Kathir and Ibn Abbas. Uh, we are Christians. The Lord He present Himself to us. Secondly, um, please don't call now. Uh, just let me uh, let me turn off my Skype for a second. I will call you back for those who are trying to call. All right. Yeah. Uh, actually, what you just did now is a division. You are trying to supposedly to make it like not to divide, but what you said, the Christianity versus the Protestantism, I mean, this is, you know, you just uh, make a division here. So you have to be careful about what you say, and uh, you have to, uh, uh, if you care for unity, the only way for us to be united is the Bible, is not a priest. The Bible is saying clearly, if you go to 1 Corinthians, it says that, you know, uh, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord, uh, uh, Christ the Messiah, that all of you agree with one another. So the Bible is the one who make us united. And the Messiah is the one who make us united. And go into the church and make a service, repeated service, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. That it never happened in the time of Christ. This is not what the Christ he do. This is not what the Christ he taught. And this is not what the Christ he practiced. Christ, he go to the field. Christ, he pray uh, everywhere. Uh, Christ, he, uh, uh, you know, uh, he, uh, uh, he taught us when they ask him how we pray. He didn't say, let's go to a place. It's called a church and say this. He said, when you want to pray, you can go to your closet. So say, I would like say like this, our father out of heaven. So priests these days, most of them, they are doing the practice and tradition. But since when Christ is a tradition? Actually, Christ was breaking all the traditions. It's been said to you, but I say to you. The Jews, they were upset from him because he was doing work in Sabbath. But Sabbath is not a tradition, it's an order from the Lord. So even that the Messiah, he gave them that you have a wrong understanding. Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So priests these days, they are practicing tradition and that make them far away from the people. So when a person, he go to the church, he don't see a person, he can ask for advice, he see a priest. He don't see a humble person, he sees somebody, he is looking at them from above, I'm a priest and you are down. The same as Muhammad, he is a prophet of Allah and the rest, they have to serve him. A priest, he should be a servant, not a master. These days, they give their hands to be kissed. So, priests are not doing their job. And a priest who just do service and you say like in the rest of the week, we teach and preach. Well, the rest of the week, people at home. People don't, you know, these days, it's not like before. Do the priest go to homes and visit them one by one and say, let me teach you? No, you don't do that. So, all what we heard have nothing to do with the Christianity and Christ's teaching. Christ's teaching is to serve and to give time, not Sunday, two hours in the morning, and you repeat the same thing for eternity. We are not Muhammadan who keeps saying Al-Fatiha five times a day. 
So we are united by loving Christ. We are united by believing in him. We are united by following him, but we are not united when we follow a man. It doesn't matter who is the man. Even if it's a Christian prince who is saying to you right now to be united. Follow the Messiah. He is the one who said to you united. There's one church. There's one God, one Lord, and one faith. That is called a Christianity. Not Orthodox, not Protestant, not Catholic. And please don't call me again and open this topic because you mess it up. What make me upset from those priests, you see, if somebody convert to Islam, why he convert to Islam? Because the priest he did not do his job. He have a space in the stage, it's not me. So my son, he go to the church, he learn what? How your son turned to be an atheist? Because the priest, he did not do his job. Well, I'm not saying we blame the priest for everything, but he did not do, they are not doing their job, they are not teaching, they are doing, you know, number one, before you preach, you have to teach. We don't want, we don't want, we don't want a preacher. We want a teacher first, because before you preach me, you need to teach me. It's like somebody saying to you, I'm going to grade your driving, but I did not teach you driving yet. I'm going to uh, tell you about the ethic of a driving, but I did not give you the rules of driving. So those priests, for me, they are fraud, most of them. They are the same as the sheikhs of the Mohammedan, the same as Muhammad. All what they are busy doing, collecting money, uh, 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 having, you know, they have a nice houses, nice cars, uh, uh, insurance, uh, uh, good living, uh, you know, I mean, what is the priest? And how many hours this priest he give to the Lord? He's a priest. Even the funeral they charge for it. The guy is dead. The woman is crying. And they are poor and they are hungry. And then they want to charge for the funeral because he pray in the top of the dead. He is a priest. He is not. Real priest is those who do what Messiah told them to do. And there's many of them, by the way. I'm not saying all the priests like this. There's wonderful priests exist. But there's too many. They are nothing but a fraud. Listen to them and don't do what they do. This is what the Messiah, he said. Don't do what they do. They speak good. They do bad. <clears throat> Uh, unity, unity, you see, we are saying love the Muslims. How in the world you will not love your brother in Christ? What kind of Christian you are? And the one who spread hatred between the Christians is the priest. The priest. The hate machine, like Muhammad. Follow the Messiah. Anyone he divide you, tell him this you are not a Christian. Just leave me alone. Your brother in Christ is a Catholic, you love him, he's a Christian. Your brother in Christ, he's a Protestant, he's a Christian. Your brother in and what 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 would make them not the Christians? I mean, what is what is exactly they believe they believe in the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they, they believe in everything. This guy he have a picture, you don't? This is what will make us now not. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, so be careful and be aware of false teachers. And for me, priest is a red line. Always, I feel, uh, I, I know, I, I, I'm very careful with them. And you know, there is many people they get upset from me because of what I say. Because you know, I did deal with many church leaders. And they say to me, well, you are putting us, putting us all in the same basket. I said, no, I did not put all everybody. But can you deny what I'm saying is true? Can you deny it? Church is not a Sunday thing. You open it. 
this is not your job as a priest priest is priest is a person is a preacher number one is a preacher and a teacher so you go in the street you go visit people you you you, you see what they need you see what you can do uh, uh, yeah. like you have uh, too many so uh, social activity but number one activity is to be a teacher so if a person grow in your church he do not know what Jehovah's Witness is and then you wonder why they join Jehovah's Witnesses because it's you you never warned them you never said anything Jehovah's Witnesses they come to your door they knock at the door they hold the Bible they say to you this is a Bible and you look at it it looks like a Bible you are not an expert and you open it says John chapter 1 verse number 1 and you will not notice that they change just a word or a letter but that letter will change everything why because the priest was not doing his job the priest is busy eating rice and beef like Muhammad and avoid asking who is orthodox here I will, otherwise I will ban you anyone who will say who is Catholic here who is a Protestant here is orthodox I will ban you immediately. And by the way, the Mohammedan, they would love to see Christians speaking about this topic. Unity, unity is very important. Extremely important. Because if you are not united with your Christian brothers and sisters, you are no Christian. You are the same as Taliban, Shia, and Sunnah, and all the garbage. Al-Qaeda, ISIS. Many, they claim to be Christian, but they think like ISIS. Priests never unite us. I never saw a priest uniting people. Never met one. Never. So I stay away from them. No problem, we are in the Christmas, we are enjoying Christ, and it's okay. Yeah, but this person always, he come with uh, some funny ideas, and he, you know, supposedly is trying to unite us, but the fact he's not. He's not. <coughs> uh, let us see. Some people try to call. All right. I don't know if this person trying to call or not. Maybe he's not interested. All right. Well, this person saying he is from China, but how he can call from China? Oh, let us see this person here. <coughs> Yes, my friend, go ahead. You're live on air. Hi, CP. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's glad to hear you. I, I don't know English very well. I'm calling you from Israel. All right. Uh, and I am your brother in Christ. I just want to tell you and everyone in the chat, God bless you. Happy uh, New Year and Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you. May God bless you. And well done. The grace of God be upon you. Thank you. God bless you too. Merry Christmas to you and Take your family. Us. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Bye bye. Take care. <coughs> I'm calling back those who could not call. So if your call is missed, don't worry. I will call you back. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hi, CP. You, you scared me. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Actually, I'm Shelly from Malaysia. All right. You're welcome. So, I'm just calling to say thank you for everything I've done. And Merry Christmas to yeah. all of my friends all around the world. 
Thank you. You know what happened? Like when you open a box and suddenly some, something jump from the box and say, hey, oh. CP, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, Dix is in the box. <laughs> yeah, well, your, your sound was very loud and like, hey, CP, it's like, oh. what happened? You know? <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, I, was, I wasn't expecting you to, I, I wasn't expecting you to call me back because I was going back and forth on YouTube and on Skype just to try to call you and to listen to you at the same time. Yeah, I understand. So when I went back to the U YouTube, you were talking to an Indo Indonesian guy. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly my phone flashed and it was you who's calling me. <laughs> that's wonderful. Thank you, sister, for calling and that's I wish you a Merry Christmas. I, so I just want to say one thing again. Okay. One more thing yeah. to all the Christian brothers and sisters out there. When doing your like witnessing witnessing job, don't forget to witness your own family because a, sometimes we forget our own then our own went away from us and became you know muslim yeah. we are con too concentrated on other people but we didn't concentrate on our own family that's what i see from uh, a year watching you yeah, in the Middle East, they say like the 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 carpenter he fixed the, the 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 window of the neighbors, but his window is broken. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. why. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. So okay, CP. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank and, you. And, and sorry, I could not take Merry your Christmas. call uh, right away because many callers, you know. But I called you back as soon yes. as I could. I understand. Thank you, CP. Merry Christmas to Merry you Christmas and to all, and Happy New Year. Thank you. God Bye. bless. Bye -bye. God bless everyone. Yeah because many people are trying to call and it's impossible to take all the calls together uh, night emperor yeah i think it's not going to go to china all right many Let us see. This person missed call. Let us see who is this person. Twenty. Yeah, I think this one we spoke to already. I received a message from a gentleman. His name is Richard. Hello, Christian Prince. I recently accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, but I have a questions that I only would ask someone like you. I was agnostic before, just so you know. I'm aware that you mostly want to talk to Muslims. It's very important for me. Let us call him and see what the questions he has. <coughs> Hello. Oh, I'm actually speaking to you. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You're live on air. Yeah, what I want to talk about was uh, we kind of relate to uh, what you were talking about about the priest stuff and everything. Um, I wanted to ask you. Uh, so I have a little problem to uh, get baptized because. Uh, I wanted to, to talk to a pastor in the church and to see where he stands about Christianity and everything. And um, I don't know, I, I, I think I, I didn't really like what he had to say about Christianity. And, and now I, I really don't know how to get baptized because... What, what, I, I what she really said, what, she, what you said she said about Christianity, what she said? I was asking questions about uh, Christianity and about Jesus Christ and okay what this what they say to you what you did not like um, well I was for example I was uh, asking about um, okay how do I say that um, I was asking if, if uh, um, it's kind of difficult for me to to 
get my thoughts together. Um, I was asking if uh, if Christianity is the truth, then it must be pointed out that other religions can't be also the, the truth. And the pastor told me that it's, it's not true. Every religion can can bring you to God. And <laughs> I asked, how, how, how can that be possible if, if some religions are the exact opposite of the teaching of Jesus Christ? Mm. And, well, then he immediately um, was talking about the Crusades and how bad that was. And I was telling him that this uh, isn't taught in, in the Bible. And... Yeah. I, yeah. I, I okay. Let, let me like let, let me let me let me answer you. Let me answer you. First of all, this this person you spoke to is not a Christian, because what the crusade have to do with the Christianity, and what this what how every religion uh, bring you to God. I mean, when where how he can prove that from the Bible? Isn't it the Bible says who is the liar? The liar is the one who denied the father. Who is the Antichrist? He is the one who denied the father and the son. So my friend, you went to the wrong person. This guy is a fraud. This guy is perfectly yeah. correct. And he has had not, no idea with Christianity. And he's, and he's no, himself, he is not a Christian. If every religion bring me to Christ, well, atheist, atheism is a religion. I mean, as, uh, to God, sorry, or to, is it true? Atheism is a religion. It, it is religion because religion is a group of people believing something. Atheism is religion. So this guy is meant, I don't know what's the problem with him. Maybe he's taking too much hashish, but this guy is not a priest. All right. He is not a Christian. He has nothing to yeah, do with Christianity. I, so don't yeah. listen to those people. Those people are, they, they, uh, maybe he is, a, maybe he is the devil himself trying to fool you. I mean, the devil is use, use the mouth of people to fool you. So uh, uh, as you said, you are right. I secondly, mean, secondly, by the way, but, crusade, a crusade, hold on, the crusade. Yet it's have nothing to do with Christianity, but the crusade was a react, not an act, which means the crusade they were defending their land, not attacking the neighbors. This is this is the lie everybody kept repeating, and especially those who they are antichrist. They try to use the crusade to make you believe that the Christ is bad. And look what he did. He you, you are trying to be Christian. He said to you the crusade. Do you remember the crusade? What this had to do with the Christ? Did the Christ did did, did the Christ kill anybody? Did the Christ uh, chop the head of anyone? Did the Christ fight anybody? No. The crusade was uh, uh, the people who they are defending themselves against the Islamic occupation. It was Muhammad who sent the three letters saying convert or else. It was Muhammad who went to occupy Jerusalem. It was not the crusade. There is no crusade for 600 years until Muhammad came. Until Muhammad came and his army attacked. Did you ask yourself why, why there was no crusade? When do, Where was the crusade before that date? Never happened. So this is a big fat lie about the crusade. I believe strongly that this person is a fraud. And he's trying to fool you. So don't listen to him, my friend. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but, but then uh, that, that's my problem right now because I, I had good intentions speaking to him and, and because I, I want to get baptized. But if all churches around in my area, <clears throat> there are always just people like him, you know, and is it possible maybe to get okay. baptized? Okay, you can text me. You can text me. Okay, you can text me uh, uh, not on like uh, under the... Here, text me, and I will see if I can find somebody to help you and get you a baptism. And uh, maybe we can we can find uh, find a way. All right. And All if right. I have to, we will we will we will make you fly to USA and get baptism here. Good. Are you serious? Yeah. Why not? I mean, uh, uh, do you do you have a do you have a visa problem? Are you in Europe? I'm a, I'm in Europe. Yeah. We yeah, uh, you know one phone call. I will get you one thousand. Uh, 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 brother, uh, to to do baptism for you. <laughs> One phone call, no that problem. Yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, you make decision when I can make some contact, um, and uh, we get your baptism and uh, have have uh, have a great day. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, my friend. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye bye. <clears throat> do you see do you see what I'm talking about do you see what I'm talking about this guy he want to be Christian he accepted Christ 
instead of helping him to accept Christ, they are trying to make him wrong. Go, no, go, go out, go out. Christian, they don't, you do not need to be Christian. All religion is the same. Oh, you know, you can be whatever you want. It's okay. I mean, you know, I mean, how this is can be? What kind of a priest they are? You know, what kind of a priest they are? <laughs> Unbelievable. It, sometimes you like you, you you feel like you are watching a like a fiction movie. Madness. Okay, we have some people we missed. Uh, if you text me, tell me you want me to call you or you are just texting to say Merry Christmas. Hello? Hi, CB. Yes, my friend. Hello. So, you know, yesterday I called you and asked you about, about the Jews, you know. I'm from Serbia. Okay. And I think you misunderstand me because I have nothing against the Jews. Because my no, 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 no. My friend, no, I did not misunderstand you. You asked me and I answered you. You did not say anything wrong against the Jews. You said, what do you think about the Jews? And I answer you. Yeah, my people really, really love them, you know. No, no, no. You did not say anything wrong. And, uh, uh, you know, your question is very normal. You know, remember for us, uh, uh, maybe, maybe many people do not know that the first Christians are Jews. Yes, they became Christians, but they are still Jews because the, the, the Jesus is the God of the Jews. So the, uh, the Jews are Christians. The Jews who accepted the Messiah are Christians. They are Jews, but they are Christians. Because Jesus said even Abraham is a Christian. Why? Didn't guys did, Je did Jesus say Abraham he saw my day? Did he say that? And then the Jews they say him, okay, how you say Abraham he saw your day? You are not even 50 years old. Abraham. And I just want to ask yeah. you some uh, if you if you're going to open your mic on 7th January, you know. Yeah. Because it's Christmas on that day too. Yeah. Well, thank you, my friend, for calling, and don't don't worry, I did not take you wrong. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Okay. Is it available? No problem. You see, uh, uh, the first step for a Christian is to learn how to love. And those who teach hate against the Jews, obviously they do not know Christ. They never know him. They never met him. And they do not know the Bible. All right? As simple as that. Christ is the Lord of the Jews before his birth you see some people they say uh, uh, like uh, you know I, I i speak to muslims like millions of time god knows how many times and they say to you okay where where was the trinity before jesus was born huh okay you have a trinity okay jesus is born in uh, you say like 25th of december or january 7 depend in the calendar uh, where was the trinity my friend jesus existence have nothing to do with his birth his birth is birth as in the flesh of a man, but this is not his existence. Hello? Hello? Oh. Yes. This CP? Yes, my friend. Oh, good to talk to you. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, CP, um, I have one question, uh, but I mean, it's a little bit out of topic. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you, are, you know about it. Um, I was seeing one guy, I mean, somebody sent me clip about four months ago. About what? And this one guy uh, in the coast of East Africa. You know, on that coast, the Arabs, they migrated there, I mean, very early on. Okay. Uh, so this guy, um, you know, one is there's uh, like a college on that coast, they teach, you know, like Islamic and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He found a copy in his study. He found a copy of uh, Sahih Buhari, uh, hmm. which addressed how I mean the creed to be saved for people who want I mean to be Muslim. 
He found you know, a like, hold on. The, the crazy tale. I don't it understand. Was much longer. I don't understand. He found a copy of Al Bukhari saying what? Yeah, on Al Bukhari. Yeah. It's explaining how people. I mean, the convert they should. Eat. Or that you know how uh, convert Islam you have to say, uh, God is with one and uh, Muhammad is a uh, is a prophet. Mm -hmm. That it was much longer on that book. It includes the Messiah. You have to accept also the Messiah and Mary. Mm. I don't know if you heard of that, but I mean, the guy had the copy of that book. I mean, he was reading, he was going to the mosque, mm. and also used to go to the church. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know if you heard about it. I mean, I don't know, but so it was the copy. The I mean, the the okay, hours. I'm just trying to understand you. Excuse me, because your accent mm -hmm. is really a little bit hard for me to understand. He found the book, it's saying okay. the Shahada contained the name of Jesus and Mary, which means to believe in Jesus yes, and to believe in Mary or, or to deny them. To, to accept them. To accept them. In that Shahada. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 uh, uh, I don't know where this copy uh, would like to see it, if this is exist. Yeah, the guy had it. I mean, somebody sent me a clip. Mm. It was a little bit long, maybe 10 minutes, uh, mm. 10 minutes long, I mean, in the clip. The guy who was explaining, and he has a copy of Sahih Buhari written in Arabic. He said, no, I mean, this is a lie because, uh, he said, this is how, I mean, we've been lied to Muslims. He told, I mean, uh, uh, Mary, I mean, he's just, uh, you know, mother of, uh, of a Messiah. But there's more, I mean, the earlier Muslims they used to say on our creed. So somebody want to, we have to accept Mary, we have to accept, I mean, uh, the Messiah. Well, you see, first of all, first of all, there is nothing is called book Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari is not a book; does not exist. Maybe many people do not know. There is no book; it's called Al Bukhari. There is no book; it's called yeah. Sahih Muslim. Those are never exist. Uh, what they have today okay. is a student of those they claim that they heard from, 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 from that Al Bukhari okay. said. You know what I mean? But okay. the, but the book nobody have it. So uh, Islam is based on nothing. Even Al Bukhari doesn't exist. Like now we are, we are when we show in the screen Al Bukhari, but there's no book. It's called Al Bukhari. Where we can find this book? It doesn't exist. Oh right, right. You right. know what I mean? So uh, Islam is is a collection of fictions and a lot of confusion there. So they have nothing. The Quran does not exist. The the, the Al Bukhari does not exist. Sahih Muslim does not exist. Uh, 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 so yeah. this is why the Shia they laugh at the Muslim Sunni they say to them okay where is, where is Al Bukhari you say Bukhari said the Prophet said where is, where is the book of Al Bukhari I want to see it this is not the book of Al Bukhari this is a printed according to according yeah. to according to according to but this is the same for the Quran the Quran is according to according to according to according to according to according to Uthman according to Muhammad so where is the Quran it's not right, exist right. you know yeah yeah, I mean, if, if the guy had it, and you know, I was like, yeah, maybe I mean, uh, people uh, were asking themselves how that could be happen, you know, how where that things I mean went wrong between then and now, because now they have shot a creed, and now, but I back then it used to be much longer. Yeah. Yeah, but as you say, I mean, it's, I don't uh, it's a little bit confused. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, there is no such a book. This book does not exist. It's a it's a collection of fictions and crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh, let us see here. All right, sound good for today. Yeah, Al Bukhari doesn't exist. Maybe, maybe many poor people do not know. There's, there's no book it's called Bukhari and there's no book it's called the Quran Quran doesn't exist this is a book they printed according to recitation according to recitation according to recitation according to recitation and the end of the recitation there's two names Asim and then his son his stepson which is Hafs and both of them they are accused to be fraud Muslims don't accept anything they say so how you take the Quran from them The same for Al Bukhari. There's no Bukhari. There's no Sahih Al Bukhari. There's no Sahih Muslim. And this is why the Shia they laugh at the Muslim Sunni and they say to them, "Where is this Al Bukhari stuff you are coming with? There's no book that's called Al Bukhari. Where we can find it? Bring us Al Bukhari. The book you have right now. This is not a. This is not the book written by Al Bukhari. And you know, imagine. Uh, 
they speak about uh, this uh, al Bukhari. <clears throat> How this guy, he memorized all those hadith by heart. He did not write them down. He memorized them. Who in the world want to believe this? You know what I mean? It is impossible for anyone to memorize all those hadith. They say that Al-Bukhari, he memorized 100,000 hadith. More or less. Some they say more, some they say less. Okay, how you can memorize 100? And you know, hadith is like a speech. You know, because this is what hadith mean. So imagine I go and make a speech somewhere and there's a guy sitting there and then he caught this uh, not only now after five minutes, no, he caught it a year after or 10 years after. So uh, Al-Bukhari is a, there's tons of fictions and I believe what happened at the Muslim Sunni, Al-Bukhari, he earned a good reputation as a person and the Muslim Sunni, in order to make something acceptable, they put it under Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari said, who said the fly go, the, the go to fly? Al-Bukhari said. So anything they want to confirm to be true, they list it under Al-Bukhari. Otherwise, there's no way Al-Bukhari, there's no man in the world can report a one a 100 a thousand story. Word by word, letter by letter. No genius, not even a computer. You know? So, <sighs> Joseph, son of Jacob. Yeah, that's very normal, my friend. You see, this is the this is the the, the problem is because of our education. If I marry a girl, and her father, his name is uh, uh, Jacob. I am his son-in-law. Are you getting the point? So. I can be the son of my father, who is my real father, and I can be the son of the father of my wife. And that can be even for like the, the, the son, sometimes they skip the, the father name, they go to the grandfather. So this is not a contradiction. You just need to uh, like increase your education and then you will find the answer easy. Like if you are, you know, like uh, when you go between the family, uh, you know, you marry from a family and then you sit between them and then there's a guy he is sitting there, he's a stranger. So they say he's a son of who? They will not call him by the, the his real father because they don't know him, they don't know his real father. They, they will recognize him by the name of the father, his father-in-law because now he is visiting this family. So the bent you are talking to who about who in front of who, the name will come. Okay. Yeah, night temporary, I know, but this is why I'm wondering how you can do it from China because I was in China. I could not even use Google. I could not even open my uh, Gmail account. And uh, when I use Viber, the, the only thing can go through is text. You cannot use, uh, you cannot send images. That's why I was wondering. Do you have any book recommendation? The first book to read is to understand the Bible and search. Search and understand and, and, and read carefully. This is the best book to read. And then the rest is, let us say, accommodation for your knowledge. All right. So Shia don't accept Aisha's story? No, they hate Aisha. They consider her, you know, they call her bad names. They hate her. The Shia, they hate all the Caliphate except Ali and his family. They curse Aisha, they curse Omar, they curse, uh, curse uh, uh, Uthman, they curse everybody. 
Is that my picture in the screen? Maybe. Is that bad? Look what we are talking about and look what people talk about. Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here and I want to say thank you for all those who called us. I remember, remember you as a Christian. Uh, you know, Christ, he brought joy to your life, but it's not enough to be Christian by name. You need to read your book. You need to read, and I mean, it's going to be strange that somebody tell you about something in your book and you never heard of it. All right, that's not even nice in your in, 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 in like for you. It's embarrassing. So read your book, especially the the four gospels. For because they are four witnesses, witness for one person. His name is the Messiah. So you should study them very well, and the more not only study them because you see, uh, uh, the, the, everything written in the in the Bible is is for your benefit. It's not. I mean. This is a book written 2,000 years ago, and yet you can live a story written in the Bible today as if it's happening today, because amazingly, every speech, especially the speech of, the, of Christ himself, every word he's saying, it is a match for your life story today. So you will see Christ, he's speaking in a very high, exclusive language, which is like the most educated, they love it, and the same time, the most simple they understand it and they love it too. See, the Muslim they are proud about the Quran. They say it's the language, and the language is confusing. And nobody can understand it. And in order to understand, you have to go and search the dictionary. So this is not from God. Muhammad he is trying to, try to make Rabbi music, so he he put he put words together, and they have no meaning. But the Messiah, when he speak, he speak to the farmer. Yet, if you are a person who have a very high education still you enjoy his speech and you love it and this is what god is about he make it simple because well, you know uh, uh, god he speak to us individually every one of us and the church never was a priest the church is us and this is why this is a priest thing you know for me i find it not really what christ he want Christ, he said, go and teach and preach. And he ordered all his disciples. And those disciples, they are just, just a church. They are, they are a priest. None of them is a priest. Paul is not a priest. Peter is not a priest. All, all of them, they are not a priest. They're, none of them is a priest. They are just believers. So the priest should be the believer, not somebody in the stage. doing a job of somebody called a priest. Every believer should be a priest. Every, be every believer should be ambassador for the Messiah. And the knowledge is should be exist for everybody. You know, in certain times, some, some, uh, some corrupt uh, 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 churches, leaders like Muhammad, uh, you know, they forbid even people to learn the Bible. Imagine. Why? Because this has become like a corporation. So we earn the knowledge and nobody have it. So now you have to go to the priest and pay him. You know, like like now Muhammad, you know, don't come to me without paying me if you ask a question in, in private. So be aware of false teachers. And the only one you need is not a Christian prince, is not a priest, is not a bishop, is not a pope, it is the Messiah. And anyone he says to you, all religion are is the same, is a false person. If anyone says to you, all beliefs are the same, they have the truth, he's lying to you. Because as you know, it's very simple logic. One of them have to be lying or all of them, they are lying. It can't be because they are teaching the opposite from each other. It can't be true. You do not need to be genius to know, right? Don't go. Okay, so I will stay, what, for a half hour more? I'm losing my voice. Let us see here. 
I want to talk I want to talk about your book Deception of Allah not now my friend maybe next time um, yeah you guys you are asking me questions about Islam let us not to do this now we have enough of this cult Today, you know, we are here for Christmas. Maybe tomorrow I will come again and do the same just to give you the opportunity so to meet and speak to those wonderful people. They are, they like to speak to me and for sure I love to speak to them. I wish really, I mean, I wish I can see you and meet you all. I'm sure you guys are wonderful people. Uh, and uh, I, I hope that I am what you think I am, you know, because many of you think about me highly, but I am no one. I'm just nobody I, I don't even wear a suit <laughs> you will if you see if you see me in the street you will think I'm a the porter who carries stuff to the people from the from the market you know the guy you give him like two dollars to carry stuff for you This is how I am. And this is why it's hard to know it's me. Uh, I mean to that, my friend. It is 1.27 in the UK. Yeah, well, you know, uh, maybe tomorrow I will try to come earlier or later so people who they are from India and uh, Indonesia they can be with us more right yeah <clears throat> no you know for me I dress in a certain way and it's not that's not about money uh, you know clothes clothing here in USA is very cheap it's not really I mean you can buy uh, nice jeans here in USA for ten dollars uh, but there's everyone he worry about things he think they are important for him you know what I mean when when everyone like uh, he have interest so your interest will show uh, so if you are a person who is interested in how to look like in the front of people there is people they would not even walk in the street unless their shoes is shiny and uh, you know I mean they, they have the uh, they think if they don't look like this life is not good so everyone and I'm not against you to be like that this is your this is your uh, choice but everyone have his own choice in life how he dress how he talk I like to be me whoever I am you know what I mean? As simple as that. Who like it? Who don't like it? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yes, I don't know. I tried to find your name. It, it could not find your name. So what I would do? Change, make a new name in Skype and try to contact me. Make a new name. Yeah, tomorrow I hope we can do it again. And then we will see maybe... Uh, I will be online maybe in December 25th and maybe 26th but then I will disappear and then I will pause for you my first video I think I will be uh, in the beach all right <clears throat> the place I'm going to there is a beach there's nice sand and the weather there is uh, way nicer than here. Here, if you go out for two seconds, you became a frozen fish. Literally. <clears throat> uh, you know, once, uh, once uh, the delivery guy, he come to my house. You know, some of them, they are rude. They are, you know, so he throw the box far from the door. And he heard the box. I mean, and who, look, I mean, you might break. I mean, do you know what is inside the box? So anyway, he threw it out. And I went outside. I'm wearing my short. 
I went outside. I said like, okay, I will grab the box and get back. I went outside and the door closed. Oh boy. You have no idea how cold it was. I have no, I'm wearing my short, no shoes, no socks. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Imran. <clears throat> Okay, we have a Muslim. We will take his call. Let us see. <coughs> it looks like Dr. Amran is is afraid to uh, to call me and ask me the question. Why, Dr. Amran? You are a doctor. Take the call. Okay, see, Dr. Amran is so tough to the point he don't dare. He's asking me a question. He don't dare to ask it live on air. <laughs> uh, Dr. Amran, you are listening. So it's, it's not nice of you to be scared. You can speak now. Oh, okay. What he's saying to us, why Jesus, he liked to break things. I think he is talking about uh you know jesus going in the square of the temple and he flipped the tables on the jews selling and buying my friend this is exactly who is jesus he's not breaking things he is correcting things it is them who break the teaching of the lord not to make the temple of the lord place of buying and selling however you're a prophet when a, a, a bedouin man he went inside the mosque he unzipped his pant and vzzz, he start pissing in the holy mosque. You call it holy, right? You're a prophet. He told the Muslim, don't stop him, don't stop him. So do you see the difference? The Messiah, he is doing what should be done. Muhammad, because he don't care for God. He don't care for the house of God. A person is pissing in the mosque, not in the square outside. And imagine the mosque is so small. I mean, at that time, it was a small room. And imagine a guy, he stand up between the believers and he's hold his thing and he start pissing. And then the prophet of God who have jealousy for God, he don't care. He don't care. Not only that, there's many hadith speaking about even dogs. They used to go in, uh, inside the mosque during the prayer and they piss in the mosque and nobody clean behind them. So I hope the answer is good for you. So he thought he is making fun of Jesus. Why does Jesus like to break things? Jesus was not breaking, my friend. He was correcting. This is the house of my father. You made it a place for buying and selling, you corrupt people. This is a temple of God. You don't buy and sell inside it. People put in chickens, people put, put, put in meat, people put in, it became a bazaar. But Dr. Amran is so afraid to, call, to, to speak. He said he cannot talk right now. And I think he is working hard, you know. They give him a salary to be a doctor in hospital, but he is in a chat room. That's why he cannot take a call, but he is listening to the chat. Very good doctor. All right. <clears throat> why he have he no love, his enemy? Oh, he's saying, uh, this doctor, he don't even speak good English. He says, why he don't love his enemy? Well, my friend, first of all, those are not his enemy. Those are his people. Secondly, if I love you, I correct you. Like now, if I say to you that you are a fool, I'm not insulting you. I'm trying to correct you. So your foolishness is speaking. Jesus, he don't believe they are enemies. Those are his people. And this is why he said, I came to my people and my people rejected me. My people. All right. And then the Messiah was correcting them so they will not end in hell. But because you're a prophet, you don't care. The guy he pissed in the mosque, the guy he put his booger in the in the in the wall of the Kaaba, 
I mean, do whatever you wish. Muhammad is welcoming everybody. He have no jealousy for God, and he don't care. Right? This is this is a great I uh, I mean uh, example of how the uh, Muhammadan they come to you with silly questions about Jesus. Why why Jesus don't love his enemy? Why? Because he flipped the tables. That did he slaughter them, kill them? No, he loved them. If you see your son taking drugs, do you hold the dish for him or you flip the dish? Hmm? If you see your son when I take drugs, do you hold the lighting for him? Say, son, let me light the light for you. Yeah, very silly. You are a doctor? I don't think even you have a driving license. Let me let me let your dad talk to me. I mean, even their logic is coming from the middle of nowhere. I mean, did you do you, I want this guy, Dr. Omran? to try to listen, to look at himself in the mirror when he talk. Just say exactly what you said to me, but in the front of the mirror, and you will see how silly you are. Why is Jesus don't love his enemy? <laughs> he remind me of the Pink Panther when he says uh, hamburger, uh, the hamburger. The Pink Panther, the woman, she was teaching him ethic, you know, about not to look at women. Welcome to the Pink Panther. Okay, let's try to call this gentleman here. He's trying to call from China. But I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Anyway, guys, I want to say really thank you for all those who came here today. We don't have a great number because we did not like announce it uh, too much early. Uh, but it's a great time, a great honor to speak with all those good people. And uh, you don't have to agree with me in what I say. You know, it's at the end of the day. God, he gave you a, a brain. God gave you a gift. You use it. And uh, for me, I share as I know. And uh, the Lord is our provider with our knowledge. So if we speak foolishness, this is our foolishness. If we speak wisdom, it is what he said. Uh, so I claim no wisdom of my own. And if there is something foolish I said, it's my foolishness, not my wisdom. Uh, uh, you know, always, always we have to remember that there is many, they will try to fool you and they will say statements and those are statements all what you need to do just send them back and you will see how silly he is the same as what happened to this abdul just send the statement back and look who's talking about breaking things muhammad he burned the trees he dig the graves i mean even dead people he took them from the grave you believe it so this abdul he is saying jesus don't love his enemy because he flipped the table First, they are not his enemy. Why? They are in war with them. <laughs> Those are his people. <laughs> uh, funny people, low, you know, low IQ. And uh, stupidity is knowledge these days. You know, somebody, he go to uh, 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 Scooby Scooby Do college and he get a degree in Scooby Scooby Do Nothing. And then he come to us to teach us nothing. And then he called himself a doctor. Well, nice to meet you, Scooby Scooby. Do nothing. Until we see you again, guys. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. May the Lord bless you. And uh, Christ is our Lord. And he's only our guidance. And never, never follow a man. No man. No man, no woman. Everybody, everyone is sinner. And all of us we do and we we make mistakes but there is only one name that name is a trustworthy only one name you can follow don't follow a priest no listen to them no problem you know they might teach good maybe they might teach bad maybe they might be good people maybe they might be bad people maybe but there is only one you can trust is always good that is the good lord and there's no name beside him is good so if you put your trust in a man, 
you are a fool if you put your trust in a sinner you are absolutely a fool people change people change people change to good or to bad there's people who were very good yesterday and they are bad today and it can be the opposite so human being change and therefore you cannot really trust a human being for he can be upside down overnight I'm thankful for having you. I'm grateful for all the callers, for those who support us. I want to say I will pray for people who call us from India, from Sri Lanka, uh, from uh, uh, Tajikistan, uh, from Africa, from Indonesia, from Malaysia. Uh, I mean, we receive calls from everywhere. Uh, yesterday, we received uh, a call from a country, I'm trying to remember the name, close to Brazil. I mean, it's amazing how you, you, you know, you have people, they are coming from everywhere in this earth, and the Lord is, is a great, uh, very, very great people, very loving, and, uh, uh, you know, you will not know how great it is, uh, what you do, until you see what you accomplish. Uh, always, when you start a project, the project start with, like, building a rock, a stone, uh, you know, I mean, something, something simple, you know, like the, the Bible speak about the, the, the rock, which is rejected, became the corner of the building. So the corner, which means the base, the, the most important rock. So you might be that rock who people think, you know, like think you are no one. But in fact, you can be a cornerstone, which a lot can be built upon by, by your work. So never say, I am no one, just I can do nothing. You are no one by yourself, yes, without the Lord. But with the Lord, you can be a lot. You can do a lot and you can accomplish a lot. Be confident and don't let people make you feel down. Uh, some people, they feel down. And I want to say about this in, in the Christmas, because maybe you think you don't look good. Uh, because maybe society around you, they have different uh, or ugly tradition. Uh, people discriminate you for no reason uh, because they have wrong understanding of what is what is right and what's wrong. Uh, don't let them don't let them uh, uh, play with your mind. Don't let them uh, uh, make you feel bad. Uh, uh, you are someone for the Lord. You are important for the Lord, and you are beautiful for the Lord. However, you look like. How old are you? How young are you? And those who uh, try to put you down for how you look like, or how, or even your age, or even your weight, or etc., those evil people they will pay a very high price later because sooner or later they will suffer from what they say. Trust me, you know people they make fun of somebody is old. Sooner or later you will be very old too, and then imagine what will happen to you. Because you make fun of the old people. You think old people are bad. Or it's funny to be old. That is your foolishness. Or they make fun of you because you are short. Or maybe you are tall. Or maybe you are overweight. Or, 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 or. You know, don't let anyone make you feel bad. Have the joy of Christ with you. You are a child of God in Christ. In Christ alone. Whoever you are, you are important. You are a prince. You are a Christian prince, and you are a Christian princess. Christian prince is not a name I chose for nothing. By him I am a prince, without him I am no one. So my friend, I want you always to be uh, have, having a, a positive, uh, 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 like, uh, uh, believe in yourself, understanding of who you are, and the reason you are, you are exist. You are not exist because somebody need to see you and you are good looking you are not exist because somebody he look at you and he enjoy how you look like this is not the reason of your existence you are exist so you can be a child of god and you enjoy life and you enjoy eternity not to serve others in the in the bad way and not to be a toy for somebody he like to to, to enjoy something on you uh, to use you let us say uh, 
the Lord he see us beautiful and he made us beautiful and the Lord he made us in his image so you have the image of the Lord it doesn't matter how you look like you know if you are an African if you are white if you are an Asian all of us we are equal and we are the children of God and anyone who separate us divide us discriminate between us by color or by ethnic or language uh, this is obvious obviously he is doing evil work and he will pay for it so be be happy of who you are as you are for this is how God he made you and he himself is happy to have you the Lord he says happiness in the kingdom in the heaven will be for one soul coming back to the father so you are an African you are an Asian you are white it doesn't matter the Bible says for God he loved the world not the white not the black not the Asian the world all of us he sent his only begotten son so my friend for the Lord he love us all of us no matter how we look like no matter what language we speak no matter how old how young no matter who we are, he loves us to the point he sent his only begotten son to save us. So the Messiah, he loves you. And he said, knock at my door and I will open. Call me and I will answer you. And this is all what you need to do. And the rest of the world is not important what they think about you. And this is how I live my life. And honestly, I don't care people will think about me. There are too many people they speak against me. I don't care. I do what I believe. And I look as I look. Which is scary. But I believe still the Lord, he loved me. <laughs> Even though I look scary. So I want to say thank you guys. May the Lord love you all and bless you all. And give you a joy for this Christmas. Don't forget... To, 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 to be good to your neighbor, to your friends, to somebody need your help. Somebody, as you know, we have a caller, he called us, he said a great message. Like he live in Belgium, there's a lot of people who they are lonely, old people maybe. They have no kids, nobody visited them. So if you are a person who got opportunity to serve, go and see those people. They will be so happy to see somebody knocking at their door, bringing a dish of food, say Merry Christmas. I mean, life is beautiful if we live it with the name of the Messiah. It is beautiful. And this is why many people, they hate Christmas because the Christmas bring the beauty of Christ and people, they see the different and they don't want them to see that. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord and everything else is false. Thank you. Take care.